It's the Bob and Tom Show. I love those funny video shows that just can't get enough. <laughs> the cavalcade of concussions. Boy, that's funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're tripping in Poughkeepsie. They're slipping in Des Moines. But the ones that win 10,000 bucks are all trauma to the groin. <laughs> A trauma to the groin, boys. Trauma to the groin. And nothing's quite as funny as a trauma to the groin. There is no wit more pretty. There is no joke divine or limerick delicious as a trauma to the groin. One day while in the garden, I stepped upon a rake. The blow intense and accurate, an impression it did make. My children caught it all on tape, thought it was the funniest thing. And I choked the curse out through my tears as they began to sing. Oh, a trauma to the groin, boys, trauma to the groin. Nothing's quite as funny as a trauma to the groin. There is no wit more pretty, there is no joke divine, or limerick delicious as a trauma to the groin. Bravo. Woo. Well, I won the money, though I failed to see the joke. Hey, each to his own, I guess. And most of the dough, well, don't you know, paid the bill to the EMS. <laughs> So let us see a show of hands and let it be resolved that a trauma's much more funny if your own groin's not involved. <laughs> oh, a trauma to the groin, boys, trauma to the boys. Nothing's quite as funny as a trauma to the groin. There is no wit more pretty, there is no joke divine or limerick delicious as a trauma to the groin. You just got kicked in the nuts. April Fool! Uh. <laughs> What's the matter, Tom? Isn't today one of your favorite days? My least favorite. Every every year? Every jackass. Hey, your mother's dead and the kids are on fire. <laughs> April Fool! I don't I don't know. Oh, that's Witty. a pretty good one. Witty. That's is that <laughs> Hey, Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm uh, Chick McGee. Yeah, that's right. And here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome to the show. A little bit of Haywood Banks, trauma to the groin. I thought I'd witnessed that earlier this morning. You got kicked uh, in the balls? Uh, no, no. When you sat down, then you went, oh, it turned out you just smashed oh, your I knee. Hit, I hit my knee. On Not it. as oh, funny. Yeah, I, got a, I, I normally, I know, you know, I can feel it and I know where, but boy, I rammed right into it this morning. Would have been much funnier had it been trauma to the groin. I think I cracked uh, my patella tendon. Is that, uh, is that no, funny no, enough for you? nothing funny about it. Oh, okay. I just, uh, good <laughs> racking the balls now. Now we're talking Here, let's play name that tune, see if uh, Jess knows this song. Okay. Mm. Just be thankful. <laughs> yeah. Now, hang on a second. There's, there's a good part coming up here. Okay. Though you may not try, try a great big cat like diamond in the back, sun who's top, digging the scene with a gangster lean. There you go. Gangster digging the scene with a gangster lean. Yeah, now, like what's that. in the back? A diamond? Uh, d diamond in the back. Uh, TV, TV in the back is also covered. Mm. I, d does he say diamond in the back? I, I don't, I'm not sure. How old is the song? Uh, early 70s. 70s. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I have no idea who it is. William Devon, the fabulous William Devon. Not to be confused with William Devane, the gold guy. <laughs> no one, okay. no one, no one was thinking that. I think they were. <laughs> Remember William Devane, that guy? Sure. No. He did a, he did, played uh, JFK and you know, I Nielsen's was, of October. He was in 24. I, oh. He's Jesse Stone's therapist, for those who've seen those movies. Oh, he's great. I love I those. love those movies. Oh, my God. I always, I've, I've thought about this for quite a while. And before I asked my therapist about you, Tom, oh. <laughs> I thought about this for quite a while. And I don't know what you're suffering from, but you do have at least one thing going on in your brain. At all times, <laughs> it, and it—it's. I, I want to make this make sense. If you've experienced it, therefore everyone's experienced it, and if you're not aware of it, no one's aware of it. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the way you function. You mean like the world revolves around him? Some might say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Solarity. <laughs> oh, I like that. Solidarity. Yeah. Uh, no, solar. Uh, the, the, solar. The, the earth solar. and the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe. Yeah, um, Luck Valenza had it. Yeah. I know. I, you don't think that sounds like? I think. I think William Devane is more well known than this guy. I I guess, but it's it's close. Yeah, I'm just saying it's one of those, it's obscure enough that people could mistake the two. I don't think there's any need to. <laughs> but the larger point here is, is, the, is, yeah, the, is, what the, is the larger point? Is the meaning of gangster lean, right. which we have had a kind of a, a healthy debate about. Are you familiar with the so-called gangster lean? Yeah, absolutely. You know what it means? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you want to explain it to me? Yeah, it, 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 yeah. You just uh, it's 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 leisure, it's comfort, it's yeah. it's it's a vibe. Gangsta you've lean. got one, yeah. You've got uh, one hand on the steering wheel, and you're. Um, and you're I, I have been told on the contrary that it's a defensive maneuver. See, see this, yeah. This he says that it's a, a position you take in an automobile so you don't get shot because you've got your glass all smoked, right? So no one can see in. So if um, one of your fellow drug dealers is uh, shooting you, oh, they wow. uh, they they shoot where your head should be, but your head's over here because you're leaning. Tom in the see. '70s, tinted windows weren't a thing. Well, they were among gangster days. A friend of mine explained hey, he this said, to me. Hey, said, let's change the subject. And I think "Dreams" by Fleetwood Mac, okay, was the first song that ever used player. You know, like play on player. Oh, okay. It's in uh, players only play when you're playing. Oh, right, like right. Oh, I yeah, think that good. was the first time player was used like that. In, well, there was in a, a magazine called Player. It was like the African-American <laughs> Playboy. You just will not get off this, will you? <laughs> am, I, am I right, Ace? <laughs> it was a... There was a magazine. It was like a, it was a, like yeah. a black Playboy? Yeah. Player? Yeah. That's, well, that's cool. Dude, I- <laughs> you remember the hustle? Yeah. This is significantly whiter. <laughs> the the look, whitest look, transit. Look, 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 listen to me now. <laughs> or you can listen to someone else later. <laughs> we we can't. You can't keep this up. Okay, sorry. <laughs> just, just belaboring the obvious. Hey, Robert, 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 today. It's April, April 1st, kids. You believe it? March 24. Foof. First quarter, gone. <laughs> it sure is gone. Oh, Poof. Go. First quarter, kids, gone. No January, more 24. February, March. Okay, good. Boom. Good okay. You know what I like doing? He's chucking up on me. On tax day, doing whatever I have to do for last year and at the same time paying this year's first quarter taxes. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. She do take a bite, don't she? <laughs> yes. I don't want to make remind anybody. You. I don't want to make anybody mad, but I already, uh, I already paid my taxes. You're not. Oh, that's great. Good. All got, set. Got taken care of. What do you think, Tom? You and Christy. Christy's already done her Christmas shopping. Congratulations. Everyone, that, yeah. everyone hates you, okay? Yeah, you're squared up with San, Uncle Sam and Santa Claus. Have you... Uh... Why would anyone tell me I got my Christmas shopping? Then go to hell. We're, we have things to do here. What about, uh, what about you? You filed your extension yet? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Really? No, he is an accountant. I'm not an accountant. I have no idea. Yeah. Mm. Also, I've signed. A bunch I have an of accountant, stuff. and I know I paid my taxes. Am I weird? What are you talking about? Know, you're a little more focused than I am. I, I'll sign a few <laughs> things. I'm sure. I know that the money's gone. That's for sure. You name anybody, anybody on the face of the earth, and they're a little more focused than you are. <laughs> I think. Man, I feel bad for him. Um, uh, now, I so let's get on to you, Tom. What's going on with you? How was your weekend? How was your Easter? Did you color some eggs? You uh, bake a ham? You have the hot cross buns? Uh, no, I you talk uh, about the Jesus. Had a, I got a lot done. <laughs> really? Yeah, my girls are out of town, so but my one of my daughter older older daughters is visiting. So oh, nice. Had uh, the traditional Easter sushi. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. all right, <laughs> all right. I spent most of the day actually in this building cleaning up. So. In this building? Oh, yeah. wow. My office is spectacular. Oh, good. So, you're, so your daughter's in town, <laughs> and you immediately come here to spend five or six hours. Well, no, she had other things she was doing, and I, well, I took that opportunity <laughs> to get some work done, frankly. Well, that's nice. There's that's no, there was nobody oh, here. Really? It was great. Don't you like coming here when there's nobody around you get a lot done? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I have a rule that if um, if you're not here, I uh, <laughs> I go in and I, I, I get a lot done. and I, uh, yeah. Well, if you had an office, I'm sure it'd be clean. I thought you were moving. 
Oh, I think I am moving. He's very excited. He is moving. Yeah. But I had to get the one, I wanted to get that one a little more organized before I have them move. Oh. It's very exciting. <laughs> well, I hope everybody had a lovely Easter. What did you do for Easter? Did you have a hot cross bun? Did you talk about Jesus? I may have had my own, sure. I, I, <laughs> I, I uh, watched some Easter stuff and uh, celebrated my way, yeah. I uh, I love I, Easter. You, you uh, what did you do for Easter? I, I was with my family. We you, had an Easter egg hunt. We did all the traditional things. Oh, good. Had the hunt? Yeah. This is the first year I haven't dyed Easter eggs in forever. Yeah. Did you miss it? Yeah, I love doing the Easter. I, yeah. I like the old-fashioned ones with the boiling water that right. takes a lot more time and is complicated. Have you and, seen the, and the uh, little tin thing you dip in? The battery-powered spinning eggs? Have I seen you? them? Do you know who got me one? Where are you about Josh. Mark? May, take a marker and... Josh yeah. got me one, and they're fantastic. He, hmm. a series of... Uh, the wax crayons. Oh, it's great. I would have liked to have had one. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have got you one. Ace, do you, uh, you talk about Easter? I uh, watch a lot of football and basketball. You're watching the UFL, aren't you? Of course. And did you hear that there was a significant uh, play in the UFL that was determined by the new uh, technology they're using with the uh, ball being electrified? That's right. Hmm. There's there's a chip in the ball that tells you. Yeah, I imagine if your uh, if your football had one of those Apple Finder gizmos. Oh on yeah, it. okay. That's what they're it's, doing now. It's oh. taking the uh, human element completely out of football. Ah, well, except the part where they're playing. It's uh, eliminating the <laughs> bad calls, and so don't, people that have large not. amounts of money gambling. Bad calls are part of the game, Tom. No, they're the wrong part. The imperfections oh. are part of your life. Okay. Therefore, you you. Appreciate the perfection. Do you see how that? Would you like that in your airplanes? Hey, we're not going to use measuring tools. We want the. I don't mind a door coming off <laughs> because then I'm thankful that hey, the door stayed on. See? Um, and you're in the aisle seat. <laughs> the guy finally gets the whole coke and flies out the door. What a drag! Uh, we have uh, we have, uh, uh, have Jess some. Hooker sitting in for Christy Lee. You want to give me a couple teasers in the world of news today? Well, we'll read them together because I haven't checked yet. So, oh, yeah, right. uh, looks like a dog finds a decade. Old exploded military weapons after He's, digging in his backyard. He's a good boy. <laughs> and what's, what, what's odd about this is it happened in Florida. Yeah, in Florida. I didn't know the, I didn't know the Japanese, the Germans had gotten that close. No, uh, but the Cubans may have tested a few things. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, you know something? Good point. You know, they, they throw around uh, 90 miles like it's nothing, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it is nothing, it <laughs> yeah. turns out. Is, yeah. there, is there a Russian running on it? Well, that's enough of a teaser. Sports teaser? Uh, we've got uh, men's college basketball. We've got uh, Final Four in the men's, and we'll set the Final Four for the ladies uh, tonight yet. We've got Chicks Iowa. already gotten into a huge argument. Iowa and LSU and USC and UConn, I maintain that there are more popular players in women's college basketball right now than in men's college basketball. We certainly know more uh, yeah. names of, yeah. the, of the stars. I of think women's. that's Same. absolutely the truth. And there's a really nasty good cop, bad cop thing going on in I women's college basketball. don't see any need to entertain that with giving, well, it, more, giving it more light, as they say, in the, uh, the Beltway. Well, it's a thing, and that's always good. I think it's always good. It's like in a wrestling. You want to have a good cop, bad cop. Thing. Hey, is Mother's Day coming up? And they call them faces and heels in wrestling. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. The face is the, the good guys, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. heels, are, uh, heels are bad guys. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did not follow. I don't follow that. I'm not aware of that. Have you seen The Iron Claw? I think you'd like The Iron Claw. Is that a movie? Mm-hmm. It's about the uh, Von Erich. Uh, oh, 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 yes, family. I read about that. Yeah. Oh, oh you read move. about it? It's a heck of a move, too, isn't it? The Iron Claw. Oh, yeah, he'll put it right on you. <laughs> yeah, the old, uh, the, wasn't that in the, uh, the claw? <laughs> sure. um, hey, Mother's Day's coming up, and uh, so many moms ask you, can you just please be quiet for the day? <laughs> yes, they, I'm sure they do. That's where Raycon earbuds come in. Uh, Raycon Everyday Earbuds, a perfect way to tune out all the noise so you can have a nice, quiet mom's day and listen to the Bob and Tom show. Raycon audio quality rivals all the big audio brands you know and love. At a price you'll love even more, eight hours of playtime, 32 hours battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing, Raycon's optimized gel tips, fit every ear ever made, even the giant head Jess has. It'll fit her ears. That's exactly right. I'm not sure how I would take that. I... You know you got a big head. I do. <laughs> what? I do. Is it disproportionate to your body? Uh, No, but it, it's bigger than most women's heads. 
Anyone want to? We did we measure heads. <laughs> we, we we measured heads in here one day, and I think you, but it wasn't as big as. It wasn't that much bigger than I, I thought it would be, like, double the size. But <laughs> so we're, doing we're, great. we're talking the, the physicality, uh, the the yeah. actual head itself, not yeah. ego, Thankfully, earbuds, e ego. Your or, head could be the right. size of a hot air Because you see Raycon earbuds will fit even in the biggest head. Yeah. Is that your point? Yeah, who do you think has the biggest ego in the room? Mm. I'm far too humble to <laughs> answer that. <laughs> Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and do something for yourself. Get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Do it for your mom. What a great present. I Heck love yeah. those Raycon earbuds. I like the Raycon uh, sealed over, headphones. Over the year. They're the best. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, lots of really exciting things. We'll be touching on both women's and men's college basketball. I'll explain the argument the chick got into with one of our staff members. Um, interesting cannabis news today. Don't explain it. Bring his ass in here. I'll talk to him. We have um, a, a weird thing with um, uh, Mike Tyson uh, a, a, a cannabis news involves, involving boxing and cannabis in Germany when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. You can Chick said earlier he's never touched a cow before, but the rumors about the girls he's dated are not quite on the
Oh my God, the humanity! Oh, the humanity. <laughs> oh there are kids here. They the humanity! See this. <laughs> we, Run! we have the turd man here. It's, been, it's under control. The turd man is All right. Here. Okay. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. <laughs> Dab in his mouth with your peace pamphlet. And we'll come by, put a bullet in his head, and the world will have two less psychos to worry about. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> you're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> hey, welcome back to... It, it's a mess, is what it is. It's already uh, a, a certified mess. It's, Man, Chick, uh, I was just looking at you, and I swear... It, uh, strong Hemingway vibes. You think? Like... <sighs> I I, I, I I was like in my head I was like oh that's Ernest Hemingway before after <laughs> before after he pulled the trigger I hit a new uh, I hit a new uh, low or maximum for my age over the weekend I played Scrabble on Easter <laughs> well that's nice yeah yeah that's uh, that might be uh, with some loved ones yeah that's yeah, like good. that's like 80, 80, 85 years old right playing Scrabble no huh well you you skew the that's uh, awesome yeah you were born like. 62 or something. What? Easter. You've been, you're, I've been, you I've been playing Scrabble very, since I was a kid. It's you have a very old school. Easter and Sundays meant to be spent that way. Yeah. Scrabble? Yes. Yeah. And ham and Absolutely, taters. Absolutely, sir. You did it good. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ten Commandments uh, on the background. Sure. Well the done. <laughs> well done. Blood makes poor mortar. You know what All else right. was good? Uh, I was on yesterday that we referenced three or four weeks ago. Tom did The Robe. That uh, oh, biblical uh, movie, yeah. That, remember when the biblical, Bibli the Bible movies were everywhere, man. Ben Hur, you King of Kings, King of Kings. I almost said your King of Kings. Uh -huh. That would have started Sid Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Written by Neil Simon and, and, and Larry Gilbert. And, 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 yeah. when, and they made Ben Hur. Is that the one where they kind of quietly a number of horses were? It sure seems like it. Uh, you watch really... it. You watch it. You go. I don't think if that one made it. If you're looking for something at the end. To Saying no, no yeah. animals were harmed in the filming of this movie. You you ain't gonna that. find it. In yeah. fact, you watch that, you go. I think those horses and a couple of those centurions didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the you know, Hollywood logic was, oh, they're foreigners. It's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we do them a disservice if we don't keep it in the movie. <laughs> right, it's honoring right. their memory. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, on, uh, welcome to the Bob and Tom program. Today is April first. We will not be doing any fake stories. I hate to disappoint you. No, you don't have to worry about that. I always hate it when they do that. Uh, but um, it, we got a couple really good stories that sound fake. That's the problem. But I can assure you they are not. Uh, we have a pretty cool Mike Tyson story. 
got an interesting uh you don't like that story uh i i think he did he try to do this before and I, they must not have let him or because this uh, doesn't I, the, seem the story was released last week i don't Okay, here. If he's you, preparing for a big fight, isn't he? Well, that's what this is about. If you are, if you're aware of this story, raise your hand. Mike Tyson is r releasing edibles in the shape of ears. They, we have talked about yeah. that. Yes. Or, or were we just blue skying it, and that might be a possibility? We're they, pretty smart. Maybe that's no, they, it was going to happen. It was announced last week, but and it's again, it's going to be. This is in April Fool. Yeah. Oh, it, it is or it isn't? No, it's not. This is well, that right. was announced last week. So you do the story and we'll figure it out. Yes, sir. Mike Tyson's cannabis company is selling ear-shaped edibles ahead of his comeback fight against Jake Paul this July. Spokesperson for the 57-year-old fighter, boy, he don't fight like he's 57, told uh, The Post the Tyson 2.0 brand Mike Bites are currently available in select dispensaries in New York. Mike Bites. Mike Bites. Tyson also planning a promotional blitz at shops next month. THC gummies are available in these flavors. Uh, watermelon, blueberry, green apple, and mango. Hmm. All right. I like the mango. Love mm -hmm. mango. I suppose Vander Holyfield gets a piece of the action. I mean, one would hope. I would hope so. Do you know what we're talking about here? Yeah. I mean, it's he, his he, ear. He bit off a chunk of a Vander Holyfield's ear. Mm -hmm. um, I, but this is apparently real. So Didn't they do a commercial together recently, Mike? And I think Vander? you're right. Was it the Super Bowl? I've sure. got a whole different uh, parallel universe going on in my well, I think, head. I think I they do. I, I know, and Mike was in here. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Tyson was in here, and you'll recall he is a vegan. Yeah, he is. And he called you a pussy. No, no, he said, oh, that's not what he did. <laughs> Let Jess judge. Uh, no, he, um, we were debating whether or not it was a situation in which... Mike was literally in here for two minutes, and he was but, on to you. But no, we they, br they brought Mike in. We were already on the air. We were already speaking, oh, okay. so we okay. didn't have a chance to talk with him sure. off the air. And I wanted to ask him if he'd be okay if I played the Todd Snyder song about Iron Mike. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, here it is now. Don't hit me. That's all I'm asking. Oh, no. okay. uh -huh. You're a pussy. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Kick his ass, Mike. <laughs> Look, five, five minutes in, Mike called Tom a pussy. I, I am so... I said pushing. I know I have a he list, said, but I he said pushing. He, not he said he's pushing. Oh, oh, pushing. Greatest oh, damn. 1-800, oh, Tom's a pussy. Pushing. Pushing. Push 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 See, Mike is sitting... Mike, I, I am a big pussy, believe me. <laughs> he said, uh, you're pushing it. What I was trying to explain to him what was uh, happening, and it was... All right, one more time, just the pussy line. Ready? Don't hit me. That's all I'm asking. Oh, okay. uh -huh. you're a pussy. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you're a pussy. No, he no. says you're pushing it. I you hear it. But it uh, really sounds. It does sound like it. It does. Yeah. Uh, but, it's very funny. But he and he also announced that he was a vegan. Yeah. So. However, um, he's shorter than both Tom and I. Right. Yeah. I don't think oh, he was. Yeah. I don't think he was five five ten. Mm, mm, but his sure. hands are as big as dinner plates. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing. He does have a, a, a very large facial tattoo yeah. on still one looks, half of his face. Looks like he moves great still, man. If yeah. I if I was kid's got a, fighting, yeah. if I was Jake Paul, I would uh, <laughs> get my affairs in order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be nervous. Yeah. They should make Mike Lord. Tyson eat four of these uh, cannabis-infused edibles before he goes in the ring. That'll give Jake Paul maybe a shot. Oh, man, oh, man. I used to live in the same neighborhood as Mike Tyson. Um when I was a kid, my stepdad was a correctional officer while Mike was serving time here in the city. Huh. And as he was walking to the mess hall in the morning for breakfast, I was standing at the bus stop, and we would wave, and he would wave back. And to Mike Tyson? Yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> so uh, this very is Mr. Mr. Tyson was behind a fence of some sort, I'm assuming? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, we were all on the same campus, yeah. What, what are you saying over there? Well, he was in jail. He was in jail, technically. yeah. I mean, it was a... So when she waved at him... It... It was a bunch of kids at the bus stop. No, I you mean, know. yeah, it was fine. He lived in my uh, neighborhood when he was on trial for like a month, a month and a half. Oh. And I, I heard from I, I never saw him, but I heard from friends he jogged through the neighborhood every right. wow every morning. Oh, wait, can you no. looking out and seeing Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, Tyson jogged yeah. by. Go to the mailbox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Aww, Chase my, the ice cream man. Do you think he looked forward to the Bed Bath & Beyond uh, coupons like we all Oh, yeah. Or the Coles uh, deal the uh, 30%. Does anyone still get the Bed Bath & Beyond coupons? Are there still any? Do they have any stores I, anymore? I thought they were online. They are online, yeah. But they don't have a coupon. That was... That was Every month you'd get one. So exciting. Giant coupons. But right, right, Ace, remember they were the size of a b loaf of bread. Oh, yeah. You probably still have some that are, haven't been used, right? No. Hmm. Mm. You used them all? Of course. Add up, baby. I was talking to Ace off the air about this eclipse next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ace goes, well, I'm going to wait because Ace is thrifty. Right. Ace goes, yeah, I'm going to wait till next Tuesday to buy those glasses. I hear they'll be on sale. <laughs> oh, I, I that way, on that news. way, that way, 20 years from now, when the next eclipse comes, he'll be ready. Uh, There's actually a piece on the news this weekend. Uh, someone wrote in a question, and they do the verify thing. Can you use the old eclipse glasses on the new eclipse? Oh, yeah. Well, I think you, well, I'm and not going to say. Yes, if they were, had that special branding on Yeah, them. you want to make sure that they're not yeah. some Chinese knockoff. Uh, that are not whatever they need to be. Yeah, I've already got mine. Yeah, I, I ordered mine early, but I don't know if they're... Very excited about this. It'll yeah. Be fun. It'll be know. fun. Uh, now, uh, once again, so... Um, and it's not going to be like nighttime, even in the totality regions. You realize that, right? It's going to be pretty close. There'll be the... the no, just it's going to be dusk and dawn. It's not good. The sun's still there. Yeah, but you, all you can see is just the, the surface of the sun and the... Yeah. Just on the edges, the big ring, it'll be very, very... The exciting. corona, if you, you think will. pets will be uh, like dogs and cats? They'll be, no, uh, they'll think it's a thunderstorm. They're not going to care. Dogs and cats living together. Oh, my <laughs> God. Hysteria. Bring the sun back. Bring it back, Tom. Yes, I would think household pets will be affected in some way. I would think. I mean, if the, yeah, they may... It won't my be dogs will just think it's time for more food. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it'll they be that kind operate. Of it won't not, be, I don't know that it'll Oh, be look, that. it's morning again. Breakfast. <laughs> how a deal, but... They'll be fine. Um, so, in any event, um, look for the uh, Evander Holyfield. I mean, uh, sorry, the Mike Tyson cannabis-infused ears. Do you know when that fight is? It's in July. July oh, okay. 20... Ace, 17? It'll be Something. big. It's on it's, Netflix. It's on Netflix, and oh, you wow. don't have to buy it or anything. It's going to be... I'm, uh, worldwide, how many? I bet it's 300 million people <laughs> worldwide. That's nuts. I'll, uh, I, it's, I feel like it's really going to be one of those fights where I'm going to go, oh, yeah, that's on, and I'll go to turn it on, and it'll already be over. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way his, my, Tyson's fights used to be. <laughs> yes, yeah. Did you have the, uh, the, the DVD, Mike Tyson's Greatest Knockouts? The, no. It'd be like, oh, God, here comes, oh, he's down! Well. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam! Well, he's 57 years old. Yep. Jake Paul, significantly younger, but I think a lot of people are rooting for uh, Mike to. Oh, yeah. Kick the crap out of this kid. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I hope he kicks the crap out of that kid. Yeah. Tom Griswold, 2024. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's talk about uh, the NCAA. Uh, how's your brackets? Anybody got a full bracket? Anybody? Sure. No one. Okay. Thanks for uh, being cooperative. <laughs> uh, DJ Burns. Uh, North Carolina State has, uh, they're up to their maximum on DJ Burns. If you're wondering, it's, it's two. Two was the maximum a team could have. <laughs> DJ Burns had 29. DJ Horn had 20. And 11th seed, North Carolina State. Wolfpack. Oh! Thank you, Josh. They reached uh, the first Final Four in 40 years, beating ACC rival Duke. 76-74. Uh, 76-64. Can you do South that score region. as the Duke? <laughs> North Carolina State <laughs> beat Duke. Fancy vest. 76, 70, 64. I did it again. Where is... Uh, Hoffy, where's my... Um, uh, John Wayne saying, hey, fancy vest. You can go ahead and pull that gun. <laughs> fancy vest. But you might want to check with your boss because you'll be dead when you hit the ground. Or something like that. Uh, aren't you dead before you hit the ground? Dead that? before you hit the ground? Something like that. Oh, here's, uh, I don't know if Jess heard this or not. We asked Ace what his uh, favorite oh, part my gosh. on a prostitute was. Oh, my gosh. You remember this? Yeah, what's Mouth. <laughs> one, more, one more time. Mouth. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did see it on the Bob and Tom highlights, and it... Uh... It delivered. Well yeah. on Ace. It was, it was well a rhetorical done. question. I didn't expect anyone to actually answer it, and then Ace just blurted it out right away. Yeah, of, of all the things so that good. you, you well, really give consideration to, you didn't think about that at all. Mouth. Street shooter, that's all. 
Very <clears throat> shooter. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous John Wayne. Hey, fancy vest. Go ahead and pull that rifle if you want to. But you better speak to your boss before you use it. Because he'll be dead before I hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's... He, he must have his... He's yeah. going to shoot his boss. Yeah. Uh, who was Ed Asner, I believe, in the movie. Oh, i got to see this movie. Yeah. Uh, Rio Lobo. Or... I feel like uh, John Wayne said, hey, ha hey... Fancy Vest to a lot of servers, a lot of... Yeah, <laughs> I'll bet people. Fancy Vest was probably take two. Yeah, a lot of valet. Okay, John, that's uh, <laughs> that's, that's great. We, can, we can't use or, that. I'm sorry. Or yeah, his uh, well. dinner companion. Look at this Fancy yeah. Vest. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, John, oh, yeah. John, just yeah. enjoy your steak, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Love your steak. There. A lot of okay. valet parkers got called Fancy Vest. And got the other... your ballet shoes, Fancy <laughs> Vest. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Any John, other Lee Marvin. NCAA... Uh, <laughs> Purdue moves on to the Final Four. They uh, beat uh, Tennessee 72-66. Zach Eady, 40 points, 16 rebounds. He's very tall, and he cut the net down without using a ladder. Oh, wow. I, I saw it yesterday on the TV. It's big fella. He's something else, big fella. More sports coming up, including the ladies' action tonight. Which is more popular than men's, I think. And uh, there was a problem with the three-point line uh, yesterday in the uh, women's competition. We've got a, a PGA winner, and he did shots after the uh, golf match. It's Steven Yeager. Hmm. Nothing? Yeager. Oh, got right. it. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk. <clears throat> You've heard about the uh, medicine Ozempic? Yes. Well, there's a, a mascot ready to visit you. Oh. It's a weird, yeah. You know, it's a very unusual. It's an odd mascot. You know, um, could be could be a pig. One of those uh, one of those minor league baseball contests. Uh, they've uh, they've come they've come out with an interesting name for that, and it's of course controversial. But sure. we'll, we'll, and also interesting news from the UFL. Ace, did you watch any of it yesterday? Of course, of course you did. Okay. Good job. Well, Ace. Uh, right now, it's time to check in with Mr. McGee and Spring, his household. Springtime, fresh air, fresh starts, freshly cleaned homes—the perfect time to give Simply Safe a fresh look. It's the home security system we all recommend, trusted by experts. Simply Safe named. Best Home Security System for 2024 by U.S. News World Report and Newsweek gave Simply Safe their best, best customer service award. Backed by 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day, high definition indoor and outdoor cameras, Simply Safe professional monitoring agents can even help stop crime in real time by speaking to intruders through the wireless indoor camera, warning them that they're being recorded. And authorities are on their way. No contract, 60-day money-back guarantee. Try Simply Safe risk-free. And if you don't love it, send it back for a full refund. Although I've never heard tell of such a thing. Simply Safe have given us uh, many Bob and Tom Show listeners real peace of mind. And we want you to have it too. Get in on it. 20% off any new Simply Safe system. All you have to do is sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring at this address. Simply Safe Tom. Dot com. That's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Uh, coming up, a helicopter um, and a uh, and an Easter drop. Uh, not WKRP in Cincinnati style, but uh, kind of interesting. We'll see what happened if anybody uh, got hit by a turkey. When we return, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. us kids nobody worked harder than daddy did in an old chicken house that was dusty and scalded and hot and then the steak came along and busted daddy on 600 pounds of pot <laughs> and mama cooked in the kitchen, Lord, I can still smell the chicken. She was active in her church and kept our torn britches stitched. <laughs> and then the steak came along, and it turns out Mama was a satanic voodoo witch. <laughs> Crazy people 
rays and babies around Rottweilers with rabies. Sometimes folks you thought were wholesome wind up doing time in Folsom. With sister really teaching scripture at the Sunday school. They're swapping naked pictures with a heroin mule. Was she cutting up collards and boiling corn? Or making a million dollars in computer porn? Daddy worked. Still selling grass, mama jerked. A knot in sister's ass. <laughs> we all did the best we could. Which wasn't very good. And it kind of fades out there. Doesn't That's fade out. out. One scoop. Big scoop. That's a huge scoop. Two. That's not, that's not a big scoops. blender. Okay. Three. Hey, don't, Three. No, no. You, you're not, you're not you're gonna, gonna run out of room. Space. No, it's you're not. not. No, yeah, no. You're, that's perfect. Uh -huh. There's milk Take right there. Milk and pour about. Uh, put a little whey protein in there. A little more than that. A little more than oh, that. Yeah, come on. There we go. Hey, a little more. All right, okay. that's good. Now load it with Oreos. Yeah. All right. right. We have so we have vanilla ice cream <laughs> don't, in the blender, not in your mouth. Don't eat the Oreos yet. All right. How many got there? I don't think I've had an Oreo in uh, years. That one and another stack that Is high. Is that an even number? Oh, for did goodness Did you count them? Sake. How many got there? It's bad luck mm -hmm. to get another number Keep of going, Oreos. It's bad luck, Chick. Did you All count right, them? that's enough. No, it isn't. Keep going. Shut your hole. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> this is our shake. You're not going to be able to drink it. You're yeah. going to have to eat it with a spoon. That's fine. But we're <laughs> what is that, 15 Oreos? Oh, this is uh, going to be perfect. It'll go right up to the top. <laughs> Peanutopolis. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> All right. Put a Klondike oh, bar there. Come on. Throw let's in go. the Klondike what would you bar. Do for a Klondike bar. Mm -hmm. I'd kill some <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little it. more milk in, Klondike Chick. Klondike bar's in there. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. All right. There we go. There you go. That's, right. that's, right. that's good. Go. Just okay. let it go. Keep God, going. Look at, look at that. That's heaven. Look, look at the that. Snickers bar. Look at that. Snickers <laughs> bar looks like it's swirling around the bottom of a toilet bowl. You're putting more ice cream in there? Yes. There you go. Now blend her up there. Oh, one more. Come on. <laughs> At least it's an even number. Okay, right, there no. we're going. <laughs> <laughs> now, those are the peanuts trying to... Uh, Thank you. Now, Bob, sip that over there by your microphone. Let's hear, uh, hear your I'll, I'll judgment I'll have a taste. <laughs> Tom has to drink it. We though. should market this. Mm. Wow, it smells very good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That is very good. Mm. Tell me this is not good. That is very good. Very chocolatey. See? This is much better than your shit. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> why don't you throw some protein powder in that? So at least you get some protein. And why don't you run up an alley and shake. yell fish? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? And my back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! Why can mow and dance while I do it? Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! Give See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More ah, or yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian <laughs> Bruce Clark is our guest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, that Pictionary. You ever play that game? Pictionary? Sure. Yeah. That's we good. almost got in a fist fight over that, oh, didn't yeah. we, Chick? Yeah, we hey, sure did. And then uh, you play with your friends. They're always drunk, too. You know, all your buddies are always alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Playing there. I get this uh, phrase. I draw it. You know, they're like, hey, how about a guy frying his own penis? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, what the 
Pan's the man here. That's in Pictionary. Idiot. That is, it's Peter Pan. You know. <laughs> I mean, Freddy here, you moron. <laughs> it's time once again for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing asked. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> When grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. You don't say we didn't warn you. Oh my God! There's laughter ahead. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hey. Uh, Josh is here. Uh, Jess Hooker, Ace Cosby, I'm Chick. Hello, Tom. How are you? Good. I got an interesting letter here. How's it going? Okay. It's going well before we get back to the action. A couple quick things. We're going to be in uh, Charleston, West Virginia, coming up Friday morning for a very special edition of this show at the big theater in the uh, Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. That evening, another special show on stage. Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oskey, Willie G. Christy and I will be your hosts once again, uh, also at the uh, theater at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Once again, that's coming up this Friday. Hope to see you there. Should be, be fun. fun. Yeah. Now, um, we were talking about bumper stickers a couple weeks ago, and this is uh, from Eric in Bastrop, Texas. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he was uh, listening to uh, one of the podcasts. We're just talking about bumper stickers. Bass drop, huh? All right. He goes, um, I was living with uh, my aunt in California years ago. We were riding along in traffic. She spotted a bumper sticker. Uh, and uh, by the way, she was uh, very thrifty. She loved to use the word dicker as in, oh, I like to dick dicker on the price, as you said. Uh, she saw a, uh, a bumper sticker. She said, oh, that's cute. It said, don't argue with your wife, just dick her. Mm. <laughs> I laughed and explained oh, uh, <laughs> what, the re what the reference meant. She turned to me full of embarrassment, and she said, oh, uh, habibti, that's terrible. She never read another bumper sticker again? Poor thing. Um, it brings back so many memories. Thanks for the show. Well, you're welcome. Is Eric. it possible for a policeman to come up and uh, pull you over and uh, have you take your bumper sticker off your car? Uh, there have been Maybe. there have been incidents. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if there's obscene language. I think that would be certainly in the double entendre no, what realm. About, uh, what about free speech? The last time I looked, this was America. What uh, uh, what's going on there? Uh, well, let me do some homework. I uh, I believe there have been some uh, problems with that. Uh, Probably with things like inciting any kind of violence or stuff like that. Didn't you have a... Uh, w did you branch out into bumper stickers when you made the uh, uh, Woody is a Pecker? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I did. I did uh, have I did have Woody is a pepper, uh, Pecker bumper stickers. Absolutely. Go uh, run that... Uh, run uh, that uh, when, when, <laughs> when Woody Hayes was uh, okay. the coach at Ohio State. Uh-huh. Um, we d did a kind of a pro. Even though you're from Ohio, yeah. you, you took Michigan's but, side, which no one surprised Well, I've got a me. mother, sister, and brother that all attended the University Whatever. of Michigan. Oh, so. okay. Uh, but I made T-shirts, Woody is a pecker. That's how I made a living for about a year. They're, oh, nice. Yeah, they're, they're collector's items. Every once in a while, someone will send me a picture of them. Uh, oh, wow. I have one. Somewhere. It just printed Woody is a pecker? Or did it have no, there's, a a draw, there's a drawing on it. Uh, of Woody? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll find one for you. I've got one somewhere in a drawer. Did you do the drawing I did. of Woody Hayes? No kidding. Yeah, so it's a kind of a wow. thing of a woodpecker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see, it's a see pecker. close, but not too close to be sued. Probably. Yeah. Right. That's right. A, yeah. yeah. No, it's not. It's, yeah. You know, you're, you're allowed to parody is legal. Last time I checked. I don't think you could parody uh, uh, Woody Woodpecker. No, I don't think you can. <laughs> There's no. I can't. Yeah. Oh, I see your point. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's it's yes. It's off of Woody enough, and I thought you meant Woody. Oh Hayes. no. Yeah, you're good there. Well, yeah. you might have been aware of this bumper suit. This was uh, growing up in Central Ohio. Uh, I saw this Muck Fishigan. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That was yeah. that was there I all the time. It. Yeah. Makes you do the work. Makes yes. you cuss in your own. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, not yeah. much work, really. Not really much. <laughs> Work. Not a lot of, yeah, I, lot of effort required. You don't have to show one. your work or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's no. fairly simple. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
No. Uh, now, speaking of sports, uh, yes. we have uh, Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. What's going on? Uh, where were we? North Carolina State moves on, beating Duke 76-64. And uh, my contention is... Oh, this is your contention? This is my contention. I think there are... Now, listen. I think there are more people who are fans of Duke losing than are fans of a specific basketball team. Oh, I see. Okay. I w yeah, I would fall in that. And, yeah. and I think Duke, you could say that about Duke. You could say that about the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. You could say that about uh, what basketball team, Tom? Do you think you could? In the, in the NBA. I don't. Uh, uh, the all, Knicks? The, oh, maybe the, the Knicks? Knicks. Maybe yeah. the Knicks. Yeah, that's good. Don't mm. you think? Yeah, I think that's a good. And in, in wrestling, there's a, a good cop, bad cop thing. Yeah. No. Definitely we, the Yankees in baseball. The Yankees in baseball. Yeah. And we just learned the wrestling terms. Tom, there yeah, are faces, faces, and heels, short and, for baby face, and then and yeah. the heels. Mm. Yeah, I was listening. I'm, I'm aware of that. Yeah, you would have been a good uh, manager. Yeah, for some heels. Yeah, yeah. for some heels. Well, that'd be good. That'd be. Let fun. me tell you something, brother. My man here can kick your ass. You know, you write in checks. Along the lines of My mouth of the south, Jimmy Hart. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bobby yeah. Heenan. Sure, Heenan was the, as funny as anybody. He almost beat me up one day. Bobby Heenan did? Uh, right in the studio. <laughs> yeah. I said something like, oh, I don't understand why you don't embrace all the uh, the fakeness of oh. wrestling or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just, yeah, yeah, the brain didn't like that. The, bra I know. the brain did not care. He was going to brain me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next to uh, me asking Melissa Etheridge if she had to cut the interview short because she has to go on the bus and cook the guy's dinner. Man, that's funny. Uh, that, uh, not, uh, you said that live on the air? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, she sure. didn't yeah. think that was real funny. Well done. No, no, no. <laughs> it's funny. Chuck. That's when I, uh, the, totally different me. I worked edgy then. Not, yeah. not, uh, not now. <laughs> Where offer, were we? I offered her some tuna casserole, you know, subtle stuff. <laughs> I did not do that, <laughs> Wiseacre. <laughs> Sorry. Purdue on to the... Um, Final four. They beat Tennessee 72-66. Zach Eady, 40 points, 16 rebounds. And, oh, by the way, the three-point line, I'm going to try to explain this. So my fear is that Tom looks at me after any story and goes, what's going on? <laughs> what? Do you have the picture for what? it? What? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, the three-point line, here we go. Three-point line for the women's NCAA tournament at a place called Moda Center in Portland, Oregon, had a discrepancy in distance at each end of the court that went unnoticed through four games over two days before Texas and North Carolina State were informed of the problem ahead of the Elite Eight matchup. That's pretty blatant. The yeah. NCAA says in a statement that the team's coaches agreed to play Sunday's game as scheduled with the mismatched three-point lines rather than delay the game. Four Sweet 16 games on Friday and Saturday were played without any of the participating teams saying anything publicly about a problem with the three-point distance. They don't look that mismatched to me. Am I nuts? Yeah, the one on the, as we look at the photograph, the one on the right looks like it's about six inches farther away from the right. hoop. L I look mean, at that, that is so marginal. <laughs> not if you're not if you're I out would say, there shooting buckets. I would say the distance between is about well, it's hard to estimate, but it's significant. It's significant. I'm with Tom. You show this to the average person, they don't see a difference. I do. I think it's very ah. obvious. Plus, I mean, it's women's basketball. The three point line is just decoration anyway. Isn't oh it? God! Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Uh, Jess, do you have anything you can throw at him? <laughs> yeah. Just this coffee mug. I suppose the argument could be made that since they switch switch baskets, at some it, yeah. It, it, they're yeah, both it works getting out the, the end. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's how they look. Remember definitely. the great scene in Hoosiers where he takes the tape measure? Yes. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, John? I've only seen that once. Um, it's uh, the key scene. I'm surprised you didn't remember. The key scene. Yeah. Uh, uh, I remember some emotion with Dennis Hopper. I don't yeah, know. I thought it was Dennis is, Hopper uh, drunkenly yeah. wandering on the court. Uh, Gene, that was Gene Hackman takes scene. a tape measure and measures the uh, measures the distance from the floor to the hoop, pointing out that it's the same as it is back at Hickory, more or less. Terrific. You know, so I'll have to revisit it. It's a great scene. The difference is not significant. It's the same height. 
<laughs> you see. Very good. Okay. Uh, what's coming up in sports over anything in news? Uh, let's see. The New Orleans Saints and Ireland? What's going on there, chick? <laughs> Thank you. I'll have the answer. <laughs> what is the Ozem pig? Well, oh, I'll gosh. tell you when we come back. And we have uh, eclipse news and robot news. I'm very excited. And cockfighting. That's right. Yay. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. Here we go. Double E double R U N beer run. Yeah. B double E double R U N beer run. All you need is a 10 and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. A couple of frat guys from Abilene drove out all night to see Robert Earl Keen at the K Pig Swine and Soiree dance. They wore baseball caps and khaki pants. They wanted cigs. So to save some money, they got one off a hippie that smelled kind of funny. Next thing they knew, they were both really hungry and pretty thirsty, too. B-double-E-double-R-U-N, beer run. B-double-E-double-R-U-N, beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B-double-E-double-R-U-N, beer run. Found a store with the sign said their beer was coldest. They sent in Brad because he looked the oldest. He got a case of beer and a candy bar. Walked over to where all them registers are. Laid his fake ID on the countertop. Clerk looked, he turned, he looked back up, he stopped. He said, kid, I'm not going to call the cops, but I'm going to have to keep this card. The guys both took it pretty hard. Sing it if you know it, even in your car. <laughs> B-double-E-double-R-U-N, beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N B run. Met this other old hippie named Sleepy John. He said he was the guy from the Robert Earl Keen song, so they gave him their cash. He bought him some brews. It was a beautiful day out in Santa Cruz. They were feeling so good, it should have been a crime. The crowd was cool and the band was prime. They made it back up front to their seats just in time to sing with all their friends. The road goes on forever and the party never ends. B double E double R U N beer run. B double E double R U N beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, a car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. B double E double R U N beer run. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a wrong over. word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. 
<laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th, that's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time it's at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. From Frigamall Industries, <laughs> ask for it by name. <laughs> what the hell? Bob and Tom. 24 7. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comedian David Crow is here with us. I think the most intense culture in the world has got to be the Japanese. I read that uh, they won't play Trivial Pursuit in Japan. They won't? No. I think these guys are afraid of their wives. In Japan? Well, probably. Yeah. I know the Japanese ladies are very meek and polite in public, but you know that pent up frustration has got to come out somewhere. <laughs> and I think it's at home. They get home just, Psh, I can't believe you don't know who plays Alice on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Everybody know Ann B. Davis play Alice. <laughs> Mr. Yashikaro knew, Mr. Arakawa knew, you don't know. <laughs> Aunt Jemima, she's a soup lady. <laughs> <laughs> she don't clean for Mike and Carol, I shall bind your feet for two days. <laughs> I mean, how do you think sushi got invented? <laughs> Screw you! Cook for yourself! <laughs> Where are you from, man? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You mm -hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'll come home for dinner. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Well, meaning, but... Yeah, they're... they're um, Sophie and I sent you. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. Josh Arnold at the Weisenheimer desk. You better believe it, Chickster. <laughs> There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> hey, got that Ace Cosby joke of the day. Coming at you. I'm Chick <laughs> McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Dear Tom. Well, before we get to that, I got a letter for you. The, um, <laughs> did I say dear time? Uh, this is on topic. Uh, you, um, so you, my. you were showing the uh, discrepancy in the court. Uh, during they one were the right not to stop the games or or go back and play them again, because I will say the difference in the distance of the three point lines between the baskets is negligible. On one side of the court, they had painted the three point line in the wrong place, and to the naked eye, it's pretty visible. So the, on the one side of the court, you're probably, I don't know, between six inches and a foot farther out. Uh, but it was kind of controversial. Uh, but, and it, I received this letter. Um, and we're, we're currently looking at a photograph of that, and you can right. see I, yeah. where, the, where the, the white part of the paint is there. Right. At the apex of the arc is uh, clearly longer on one side. Now, um, hey, man, I just look at those as boundaries, man. Okay. Lines don't exist in my That's world. Right, uh, dear Bob and Tom, you know, um, while keeping up with the NCAA women's bracket, I noticed the three-point line in the court was lopsided. Uh, I just assumed it was done that way for women because one boob is larger than the other. Oh! Thank you, Brian. Your thoughts on that, Jess Hooker? That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Understated. What was, he, what was he thinking in saying that out loud, that he was going to get a, a chuckle from, from, a, from a girl? No, from us idiots. Or is it we idiots? I thought it was going to be... I, I thought it was going to be, well, they did it that way because... 
Women can't make up their minds. <laughs> yeah, either either jokes. Like yeah. yeah, you like that? Uh, one? You have a letter over there now. Is that about the same thing? <laughs> Dear Tom, no, I live in Tennessee. The eclipse came through here a few weeks ago, and the chickens went to roost. He says this is David. They thought it was uh, bedtime. The eclipse is what? April eighth. There are yeah, many, I know, many, but there are many, many eclipses. Not total eclipses. There will be another one in yes. North America for 20 years. What this gentleman's years. point is there that were, uh, even the slightest one caused trouble among oh. the chickens. Maybe he also meant a Do few you, years what's ago. What's your beef with this? You <laughs> know there meant, have been other eclipses, and there will be a more eclipse, and there will be totality. For there, for the, to affect the chickens, he must have meant the one a few years ago. Yeah, it was like five or six years ago. Yeah. yeah. yeah right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what he... That was real. You yeah. said You weeks. said weeks. I know that there are all these stories about the zoos are going to be blah, blah, did blah. Did I say weeks? I, I meant years. <laughs> did you say, oh, no wonder. So the writer wrote years. Yeah, the writer wrote years. You read weeks. I was wrong. So there's two no, idiots no. in this scenario. <laughs> I think I'm or one Or scenario. Of them. Scenario. Yeah. What is a scenario? <laughs> Sorry. I meant to say one idiot. Okay. Or one big idiot. Uh. All right. um, yeah, we do have a clips news coming up. You'll be hearing a lot about it for the next week, I can assure you. Why wait? Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it now. Oh, the we eclipse do? news? Why not? <laughs> Let's see. Why not? How about the eclipse news, huh? You're so smart. I thought you had it. Sorry. That's why oh. I said, yeah, why not? Sorry. <laughs> oh, new technology will allow blind people and those with visual impairments to experience the upcoming solar eclipse. Well, this isn't fair. <laughs> what? Why is it not fair? If you're blind, you don't get to enjoy it. Yes, you do. Well, they're, 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 now they have special technological developments that do will. Do blind uh, people like fireworks? No, they just live with it. It's it's. Uh, this isn't fair. Reason one, story. This is for device, seers only. One device called a light sound box translate changing light into sounds. When the sun is bright, what they will be? They will hear or no? They won't. Yeah, they'll hear. There will be a high. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop it. A high, delicate flute note, okay? But as the moon begins to cover the sun, the device will produce mid-range notes from a clarinet. <laughs> is that it? The sun's gone. <laughs> it came back. Darkness is rendered by a low <laughs> clicking sound. That oh, must be dark out. Yeah, well, I guess, Lloyd, for you, every day's a solar eclipse, eh, huh? <laughs> Pretty dark in there, is it? One tactile experience <laughs> offered by the Cadence tablet allows users to feel rows of dots that pop up and down. That's nice. Users well, that's, will be um, able to feel when the moon slowly covers the sun. That's Braille, right? And they can look at it. As, much, as long as they want. I mean, if you're completely blind, it's not going to hurt. I don't know if you can feel the heat change, maybe. Boy. Can you imagine going up to a, a blind person? He's got the sunglasses. and You know, I sure wish you could see this eclipse. Oh, I saw one once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow there'll be a, a lot more people that are going to be interested in this particular technology so they can see the one 20 years from now when it hits yes. North America. I, I saw an eclipse, yeah. Uh, that's a funny story. <laughs> well, that's great. They get to, they get to experience it yeah. in their own way. Yeah. I got to make sure they tell their dog not to look at it. Mm. I think animals just know. They're not animals yeah. aren't dumb enough just to stare at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we are. That's true. <laughs> Did you ever make the uh when I was a kid there was a the box? A partial eclipse. Absolutely. In the box. Yeah. yeah. That Absolutely. thing never I, I it was great. Really, I finally got it to work on one I one eclipse. I was so proud of myself. Yeah. You know what my problem was? I did that classic Josh thing where I went I was skeptical from the get go, so right. I didn't even let it work. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you drill a hole in a box and it projects onto the I did that. It was we very just cool. used a needle or something to get the, you yeah. guys use drills? Yeah, a little tiny little well, Tom actually had... Uh, <laughs> no, I did it myself. Reeves, the downstairs <laughs> butler, who <laughs> actually uh, drill a hole into a wooden box. <laughs> well, he had to make the wooden uh, box. Thank you, Reeves. Right. It was a uh, cardboard you, box and a yeah. pinhole. Sure, sure, sure. So he had to do it. Uh, no, you, no, I hated it. I, thank you, Reeves. Did you tell Paula were. I'm ready for my shower? Don't work at all. <laughs> How old were you when Paula gave you your last shower? Do you Paula remember? did not give me a shower. She was I, she taught me how to iron, <laughs> nothing else. Oh, I'm she very, did? I mean, I'm a very good ironer, yeah. And what? Oh, <laughs> I'll stand behind you. Yes. Nestle into my bosom. Oh, Tommy, <laughs> you're getting too big to <laughs> iron behind me. <laughs> Where was Paula from? Germany. Oh, she was? Yeah, she'd been living in the United States since, like, 1910. She was quite oh. elderly. Oh, gotcha. And coming up in the news, by the way. A huge rack, though, right? <laughs> we have, a, we have a huge everything. She was a stout lady. No kidding? We have... Um, How about that ass? We have, uh, we have uh, Germany in the news today.
coming up. Mm. Yes. So uh, Germany in the news yeah. today. Big story. It's springtime <laughs> in Germany. A yeah, big story. I'm so sure. it wasn't Austria or anything. It was Germany. Germany is in the news today. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, uh, two uh, actual sports before we get to the nonsense. Uh, Steven Yeager <laughs> of Germany is a PGA Tour winner for the first time, headed to the Masters. His win at the Houston, Houston, Houston Open ended Scotty Scheffler's Houston. bid for three straight victories. Scheffler had his chances right to the end, a five-foot birdie putt to force a playoff, and oh, Oh, he missed it left. Oh. And uh, Denny Hamlin won the race off pit road with Joe Gibbs racing teammate Martin Truex Jr. after a caution, two laps to go, and won in overtime at Richmond Raceway. In moons over my Hamlin, they call him. Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> you like a moons over my hammy chick? I, I do like a moons over my hammy very much. <laughs> it's yes. a sandwich at Denny's. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? Moons over at my hammy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It actually is at Denny's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. The only thing I know at Denny's is the Grand Slam breakfast, and I enjoy it very much. They, they really nailed it. Yeah, yeah, they really did. It's like, well, we, we should probably stop adding items. No, they didn't. They kept adding items. Remember the two old broads who, was it, what restaurant was it that had the Tutti Fruity, Tutti Rudy Fresh and Fruity? I don't know. That what? may have been regional. I'm not aware of Was it of Denny's? It was definitely a chain. IHOP oh. or uh, Denny's. Yeah, yeah. I think it was IHOP. Okay. I think it was. The old Tootie Rudy, right. fresh and fruity. What was in that? A lot of fruit. It, it, it looked to me like it was ruining pancakes. You know how. Oh. Tom, you and I are true. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Butter syrup. Yeah. Right. Uh, no. Uh, the, the, yeah, but the, the flavored syrups need to go there. This was some sort of uh, compote. You know how... <laughs> You know how it was a crepe with <laughs> yeah. Tom likes a crepe made pancake. I like very thin pancakes. Very thin. But stacked high? Sure. Okay. You do. Yeah, I like that. Well, what's the difference between stacked high pancakes and <laughs> and just two thick ones? Mouthfeel. No, they just uh, the, 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 the inside. Wait a minute. Are, too are you one of these people who agree with him and that different shaped pasta has different tastes? No, I think it's a different mouthfeel, and that's yeah, that's, that's what sure. it is. Yeah. And uh, answer me this question, Your Honor. Please get her to answer <laughs> this question. Okay, but you better be going somewhere with this. I, I certainly am. Now you are. One could say that you are just a professional pasta. A maker is that correct? I, I do that, yes. And is there any truth to the rumor that different shaped pasta, in your experience, uh -huh. do different shaped pasta taste differently? It it doesn't because it's Durham flour and water usually. Some add egg. Boom. Um, Thickness issues. The amount of is, sauce that is. it holds. Uh, I received an expert chef analysis no, of this. Not, I'll have to no, dig it up. No, but. don't bring sauce into it. No, you're uh, mutating the argument. It's Lurie's. just the pasta. <laughs> that was your statement. And it doesn't taste differently. Okay. I don't agree. <laughs> All right. Your linguine versus your spaghetti, vastly different. Macaroni in uh, spaghetti sauce, not, not the same. That's not true at all. Doesn't taste the same. You can blindfold me and I'll tell you which is spaghetti and which is macaroni. You know, why we're talking noodles, what do you guys have in your shoes right now? Those lasagna noodles? No. Oh, yeah. No, the, no, do you no. ever get those? You have to trim them to fit your shoe? Just thin, nothing, oh, no support oh, given. I don't have time for that. You know what they are? <laughs> They're, I call them loser liners. <laughs> Losers. That's right. Yep. They uh, help you lose your foundation. Boy, oh boy, you don't want those. You want... What do we want, Josh? Orange insoles! Yay! Orangeinsoles.com. If you have back pain, hip pain, or knee pain, you know how much that affects your daily routine. It's frustrating. You know, there are people out there who have such a loose foundation, they think different pastas taste differently. Mm. Isn't that something? <laughs> Maybe they should look into Orange Insoles. Here, here. <laughs> well, you can at Orangeinsoles.com. Get rid of that loser liner that came with your shoes and get one that offers arch support and deep cups to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your whole body. And of course, I just described Orange Insoles. They help you alleviate that pain and discomfort. They're great for all kinds of footwear, work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you with 
their insole quiz. That's right. You take a quick quiz. They let you know exactly which insoles are right. I have an email out to them to see if they fit skis, Tom, if you can put orange insoles in skis. Yeah, you can put them in your ski boots, certainly. They got back to me and said, will you just leave us alone and read what we send you? I think we should take a pair of your sandals and <laughs> crazy glue some on there. Oh, uh, yeah, we should try that. Be fun. That, that, would, that would absolutely work. It would work. Yeah, it yeah. would work, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd have to adjust the thong height, perhaps. Mm. Or you get some of those uh, slides so you don't have anything in between your toes. Well, now we're talking. Boom. Head to orangeinsoles.com today. Free shipping, my friends. Plus, Orange Insoles come with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be happy guarantee. Nothing to lose here, folks. No cutting required, as Chick alluded to earlier. They come true to size. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better. Do more. Thank you very much, Orange Insoles. Uh, coming up, lots of cool stuff in the news. I mentioned we do have Germany in the news. Yeah. Uh, cannabis news. Uh, NFL news and um, UFL news, a very interesting development in the UFL that might be bleeding into the NFL sooner than you think. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. And a good morning. Cabinets returning. Cabinets are here. Now, um, uh, uh, Tim, we need to get to this because we have a time deadline here. We're hoping to hook up with uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Beautiful. So, all so right. Move it forward. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they seem to have all the time in the world until you guys got in here. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? What do you got? Let's we go. love these guys. Here we go. <laughs> Ready to go? Let's go. Writer's block, writer's block, writer's block, that's what I've got. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. I've got writer's block. Yes, he's got writer's block. Writer's block, yes, I know. This is where the joke should go. Is there a joke there? No. Yeah. I got writer's block. <laughs> yes, he's got writer's block. <laughs> this is good. This is better really, than rehearsal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, it was a couple years ago, right? I started out, my mind was blank. I sat and thought an hour. By then, my mind was even blanker. La, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. Writer's block, it's not fair. I'm sitting in my lucky chair, and I can't find funny anywhere. I've He's got, got writer's, writer's block. block. Mm, I've got, got writer's <laughs> block. Mm. Blow a whistle. Ring a bell. Blow a whistle again. Cause I can't write a joke. No writer's block. Writer's block. That's a song. That's all I've got. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. I stole that line. Yeah, it's not mine. Cause I have writer's block. Yes, he has writer's block. He claims it's writer's block. It's always writer's block. He's never not had writer's block. Hey, you guys, I think it's time we get some new singers. I'm getting tired <laughs> of you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Nice ringing the bell. Bravo. Thanks very much. Uh, Tim Cavanaugh on the Cavanaughs. We ever did it. And the writer's block song. Josh, what's wrong? And my back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, Orange Insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get Orange Insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to Orange Insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> Orange Insoles. Feel better, do more. Into glue. Giddy up, giddy up. So if your horse has lost his stuff and his legs aren't thin and bone, and if his meat ain't very tough, then he comes.
the Burger Pony. Now, when you come into any participating Burger Pony restaurant and order our swale in a pail, every kid in your group will receive a free hot fudge Sunday silence. And don't forget our Clint Eastwood <laughs> Western spaghetti. <laughs> and our delicious burgers, including the Daily Double and the Triple Crown. And remember our motto, if we're not in your neighborhood yet, your neighbors have probably passed a petition. <laughs> So if your horse has lost his stuff and his legs aren't thin and bony And if his meat ain't very tough, then he comes to Burger Pony Comes to Burger Pony Comes to Burger Pony Bob and Tom For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life And I worked the state fair We were stupid before stupid was cool I don't know if you remember this, but uh, Pat has a tattoo on his arm that Used to be, used to have his girlfriend's name on it, and then when they broke up, and well, she had a couple kids, didn't she? She has a couple kids now. Yeah, I mean, she, not, not his me. kids. No, but I mean, she has since left you and moved on. She has yeah. a baby girl and According a baby to Greg boy. Hahn, she's just trying to make you jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I am not coming back. Do you know that we've only been broken up uh, two and a half years, and she has her second baby already. only. You got her name tattooed on your arm. Mm -hmm. Never and, uh, a good idea. And one day... Uh, I should have put it on my ass. <laughs> one day we got talking about it, and you actually have had it covered up. Mm -hmm. well, you, you refer to it as a tribal symbol. <laughs> <laughs> now, did she have your name tattooed anywhere? On her ankle, yeah. What'd she do about that? Cut her leg off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. She really hated you. Really that's, hated called you. Coy wow. that's called coyote. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Well, uh, Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This okay, okay, dogs. Are <laughs> <sighs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom's here, as we like to call him, Mr. Negative. There's a huge uh, total eclipse coming next Monday across the giant swath of I wasn't negative at all. America, and you have been saying since the beginning of talking about the eclipse, uh, you have been following it up with, well, uh, what if it's cloudy? What if it rains? You getting your uh, sweetener all the uh, No, no, I, I, I was just uh, actually giving a forecast for so far so good on the forecast for, uh, for uh, next Monday. The biggest thing is you don't want to be within... I'm going to say 25 miles of any zoo or nature park. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those animals, yeah, animals are all going to get that. Yeah. They okay. get bite crazy during eclipses. Sure. You know that? <laughs> yeah. It's known as arr, bite arr, crazy. Yeah. yeah, they get real bite crazy. And they uh, all, uh, they they think the world's ending, so they immediately have sex. Now, um, on a different note, um, af right. after you attacked me recently about pasta, I uh, got this nice letter oh, uh, from uh, Carl. Um, I am a food scientist. I'm sure you are. Uh, graduate of the University of Wisconsin. Yeah, me with 19 too. plus years of industrial food experience. Uh, How about that? Um, I can there's absolutely I... a flavor difference between pasta shapes. Each, each variant is specifically designed for sauce pickup, mouthfeel, and ultimately the eating experience. Don't bring sauce yeah, pickup can't. into you this. Cannot. Why, you can't. why else would there be 50 pasta options? Well, thank be you, Carl. Because of the sauce, because of the dishes. That's, that's yes. again, that's just well, not what we're yeah, saying. You can't, can't make it, lasagna. Anymore. You can't make lasagna with bow tie pasta. It would fall apart. And, and, it, would, and it would taste okay. good. Mm. I'm not going to argue with you guys. You, you guys just keep ordering your macaroni and cheese. Oh. <laughs> no, you forgot the uh, you forgot the sugar bread mm -hmm. that we yeah, eat. Okay, good. Uh, uh, is there anything going on in sports? Uh, I've often wondered that myself, Tom. I don't. I don't know. You know what is going on in sports? Maybe Josh will Come on, sing along. You can beat me rolling. Paul Coffin. That's right. No Is Coffin going mean. on in sports? Maybe. Well, I'll twist for you, baby, and I'll rip for you, baby. Take another shot, get lit for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what a great song. God, that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Love it. Um, here we go down, down this highway. All right. Uh, New Orleans Saints have signed Gaelic soccer player Charlie Smith, or are we saying Smythe? Good question. There's a Y in it. I don't know. And he's from Ireland. So. I grew up with a Smythe. 
But I know there are people who have the Y that pronounce it Smith, so you got me. Saints uh, signing him as a potential kicker, according to Pro Football Talk. Smythe, a goalkeeper for the Gaelic football club known as Down in Ireland, before giving American football a try through the NFL's International Player Pathway Program. NFL UK shared a video of Smythe making a 63-yard field goal this past week. Huh. He'll be competing with Blake Groupie as he comes off his rookie season. Groupie, 30 of 37 on field goals and 40 of 40 on extra points last year. Smythe joins Welsh rugby player Luis Rees Zamet. Ah, Zamet. Z A M M I T. <laughs> and I think Zamet's signing with Kansas City, I believe, as international players to find spots with NFL teams. Zamet, Janet. <laughs> Zamet Janet. That's right. Uh, Reese Zamet, yeah, is joining the Chiefs, and all 32 teams will have a 17th spot on their practice squads to accommodate the international. That's a smart team. idea. Just one, yeah. So getting a bunch of players from other countries like the NBA and you know, Major League Baseball, obviously, with the great Japanese players now. Since they're trying to go global with all these sports, it's a great, great move. I uh, wear underwear known as the Gaelic goalie. Oh, wow. It prevents, uh, you know, it keeps everything in its place. Mm. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of advertisements on my phone. Uh, most mo from Instagram has really been prevalent, and they're trying to sell me underwear. But this underwear has, um, it's really a pouch. It's very much a pouch. Yeah. Keeps everything in place. To keep your... Uh, uh, it, it, I've seen TV commercials for I that. I have too, yeah. Uh, the, the, the advertisement says it keeps it off the the inside of your thigh. Oh, okay. But this pouch... Eliminates bat wing? Yeah, this oh. pouch... Uh, the okay. brain? Mm. No, this it's pouch... Handy. It keeps the tip from hitting your knee, you know. The, your... Oh! <laughs> this pouch, uh, it, it's very much... Uh, it's a deep pouch. It's... Uh, I don't know how you... I yes, I agree. A lot of hang down. A lot it seems of, I mean, like you, yeah. So I just didn't. Bill, I like didn't, them, didn't Bill Murray famously refer to it as the full throw pouch? It it must be with the see through mesh. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he might have. <clears throat> I don't know why that was happening to me though. You you get a lot of advertisements for underwear. I do not. Hmm. I'm not sure what your what website you're visiting that <laughs> they think that you have an issue in that area. But uh, also, I'm getting advertisements also for. Um, um, <laughs> belts and uh, oh, jock straps, perhaps jock straps and chains. Oh. Wow, we chains. learned so we learned something last week about jock straps that we all poo pooed, Mr. Griswold. But apparently, this is true. What and for the most part, we're pretty open minded and know uh, the company that bike is the company that makes yeah. uh, jock straps, and they did a press release. And I want to say seventy percent of yep. their product is sold to gay men. And we had no idea, and we had dozens of gay men. And they men. immediately attacked me, of course, when I read that, and they said, that's not true. Well, uh, the, that's... Well, it sounded like one of those things that, you know, you you have, you have make an assumption, and then it becomes solidified as fact in your head. That's right. what it sounded like. Right. Nothing but facts come out of this mouth. <laughs> Is that right? All pasta tastes different. <laughs> Um, but uh, several of the gay men that responded brought up the fact that, yeah, jock straps are perfect because... The entryway is not uh, clogged by fabric, you see. The oh. easy access would be the human way to put that. Mm -hmm. that, yes. in, that in the event, in, in the event of a entry. sudden crack attack, there's no defense. That entry, got there's it. no Maginot line, if you will. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No Isn't that Mendoza. something? Yeah. Try to keep this set up. Sophisticated level. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the... Um, but I I, okay. I I didn't believe you. I thought it was just a wild ex right. accusation you make. Or no, a, I didn't. A, a I did segment not. of our society, like you most often do. No, I, I, facts are facts. I mean, they they know who their audience is. Is that the same as a woman wearing a g-string? Like you can no easy access. No, because no? the g-string um, is right over the uh, the good goods. Yeah, but you can do the you old pull, pull aside. Pull aside. Yeah. yeah, you can pull it aside. But yes, but, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The, the jock strap is even more expensive. Oh, wait, yeah. so the jock strap, you, there's not one that goes mm -hmm. up no, the... No, it doesn't go up the middle. Oh. It, it, it's, um, the jock it's like strap. a big V. It's just v. a belt. It's like a V. The jock strap has a waistband, and from right. the ends On the of back the waistband, side. it comes down. Oh. It's sort of like anal suspenders. Yes. <laughs> In a way, yeah. Like, here's the story. Here's the story. This is from the Associated Press. 
Headline, Jockstrap Turns 150 Years Old. 150? The protective garment was invented in 1874 by Mr. C.F. Bennett, who worked for a company now known as Bike Athletic. I wonder what CF did. It was designed to protect the precious parts of bicycle messengers as they navigated the bumpy cobblestones of Boston. Uh, Doesn't that sound like a... I'm busy the, working now. The bumpy cobblestones of Boston. Mm. It was a cold day. I yeah. wore a light coat. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I especially smoked. when I got kicked in the uh, <laughs> deck of luckies. Um, it said, this is the, I'm reading this verbatim. The jockstrap has since stretched beyond the athletic world, largely thanks to the gay men who have embraced it since the 1950s. Bike Athletics says 70% of its customers are gay men. There you go. The top seller is a jock strap that's been around since the beginning, known as the number 10. Okay. Okay, so the jock strap is the thing that holds the cup. Yes. Right. In the front. Oh, yeah. okay. In the, but in the, in the, yeah, that's, and yeah. I would say that the number is far closer to zero, the percentage of National Football League players that wear yeah. a cup. Hmm. I, I, I don't think it's 10%. And you're not going to believe this, but okay. Chick and I experienced the same thing. Hmm. The lining up when you were in junior high oh, school football, yeah. Yeah. the cup check thing, mm -hmm. yeah. where the, you know, yeah. now what we'd realize would be a, a perverted coach walks by with a stick and mm -hmm. at random wax guys in the balls to see if they're wearing a cup. I'm thinking he he did not whack me. He grabbed a hold. <laughs> he did not whack at me. Mm. Uh, even what? Even yeah. worse. No, he just grabbed. Yeah, he didn't. But don't hit it. guys do that to each other? Like yeah, cup, cup check? check is a yeah. thing. Just yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, it's one thing if uh, your buddy does it as a joke. It's right. another thing, you know, if, if it's an adult, yeah, teacher, the assistant yeah. coach <laughs> who likes to shower with the fellas is in there. Oh man, I feel like if he used a stick though, he was legitimately doing a cup check. Yeah, not just trying to stick. be a perv. No, I think he's like he's just trying yeah, to. If he's grabbing, he's, he's, he's getting something I, from it. Grabbing, yeah, yeah. No, but I think hitting is also a. You think he wanted to punish? Uh, yeah, there's something going on a there. Fetish, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Well, hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, we showered with our coaches on the football team, all of them. Mm. We were all in the shower. You know what that was. builds? That builds camaraderie, Josh. I, yes. We were a close team. <laughs> we were like a family. You were better for it. A weird, weird family <laughs> is what we were like. <laughs> See. All right. Um, Elsewhere in sports? A minor league baseball team in Minnesota has decided to keep its mascot named Ozem Pig. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Despite. <laughs> so bad. Online backlash. Criticism poured in almost immediately <laughs> after the St. Saint Paul Saints announced that it named its longtime live pig mascot after the weight loss drug Ozempic. Online users said it was hurtful, insensitive, and fat shaming. Vice President Sean Aronson said the team only wanted an amusing, topical name when it chose Ozem Pig from nearly 2,300 entries in its Name the Pig contest. He said officials were surprised people found it offensive, adding that there are no ill intent behind the choice of Ozem Pig. Ah, yeah. it's very topical. And I think this is the team that Bill Murray used to own or maybe still does own. St. Mm. Ball Saints, mm. I think. Mm. Um, they did something last year that, trying to, again, the, kind of the pharmaceutical theme, Viag Hog. Oh, okay. big, oh yeah. well-hung donkey. Um, is that pig, right? I mean, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I think it's kind of funny. I mean, they got a live pig as a mascot, little feller. Well, could be a big feller. I mean, you wouldn't. I'd rather have that than what was it, Piggy McPigface? Wasn't that the one? That oh was, yeah, uh, Bodie McBoatface. Yeah, right, right. right. El Porco. I mean, they're gonna. No matter what they do, <laughs> they're gonna. They're gonna offend somebody. So these minor league ball clubs do stuff that's it's really fun. I, the St. Paul Saints do uh, these sort of uh, promotions all the time. Oh yeah. Authorities in California say they seized 350 birds in connection with an alleged illegal cockfighting operation. Ugh. The Monterey County Sheriff's Office uh, said deputies served a search warrant at a property near Salinas after receiving multiple tips about illegal cockfighting at the location and also a rumor that near Salinas is where Bobby, Bobby McGee Bobby left me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, in, in addition to roosters, hens, and chicks, thank you very much, officials also seized evidence commonly associated with breeding and training roosters for cockfighting. I was going to say they have them all. They're grooming them to be... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Authorities are seeking to charge a 73-year-old suspect, Jose Francisco Gayton, with possession of fighting birds. A Monterey County SPCA spokesperson confirmed over 300 roosters and hens had to be euthanized. Oh. Well, the, it was also the, the police's annual wing barbecue is coming <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, euth the euthanization, it was delicious. Yeah, I bet it was a tasty, mm. if anybody, euthanization, but still. Are you a rub guy, or what do, what do you like? How do you like your barbecue? You like to dip it in the sauce? <laughs> I do like to dip it in the sauce. I, 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 is there a need for cockfighting with all of the of online gambling? Of course not. These days? But this is a, this is a cultural thing. Cockfighting? It didn't. Yeah. We, have, we had a story. They they, they attach um, like razor like spurs to the. Yeah, you're looking at me. Is that true? To the ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's as cruel a thing as there oh. is. But yeah. we they had a guy. Little, they put little hoods on them before. They uh, drop them into the ring, and then as they're dropping, they take the hoods off, yeah. and they've got their spurs on, and boom, there they are. We wow. had a guy last year that was bled to death. Oh, because he got. He, he was uh, handling the birds, and he got. He got whatever. Oh uh, no! The femoral artery that, that got to him in the wrong. Yikes! Was they uh, when it happened, they called foul. Uh, <laughs> yeah, certainly. Oh, yeah, thank you. you, you, you very much. <laughs> yeah, you, you pretty much have to. Uh, it's a, uh, that's bird. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just sadly. I well, how long? Uh, Ten to twelve minutes to bleed out your femoral artery. I something like that? I'm not aware of what the timing is. I. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I feel like one of them's even less than that. I think if I you think get so. it, if yeah. you get it. I would think in the neck, I would think you'd go pretty quick. Boy. If I'd have done that at the start of the sportscast, I'd okay. be getting real sleepy. The right sportscast now. would be over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really yeah boy. <laughs> Three. Why do they have to, to kill the birds? Um, Who man, knows? Disease. Because they're too, oh. uh, they're too tough to eat. <laughs> yeah. That, well, that's, yeah. that's probably true. Balk. Balk this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Try and eat me. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what's coming? Is that the end of sports? Oh, no, no, more sports coming up, including... Oh, I got a story for di the Dicky Dick, Dick and Dick and Dicky Dick. Are they going to like it, or will they be upset? Moonshine. Well, you are talking my <laughs> language. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, I saw that. That's My land is my land. Uh, right Government. Now. Um, I want to mention, the, I got a nice letter here from Jeremy. Looking forward to Friday morning live and your evening show in Charleston, West Virginia. <laughs> so Will uh, you do the show, will you do the Charleston uh, on stage that night? I'm not sure how the to dance? do it. Dun, I'll teach you. Dun, 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 you know it? Dun, yeah. Bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, great. I bet Foghorn Leghorn had to do the Charleston. Is that right? There may have been uh, 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 some Charleston in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, this guy's driving all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. He's been listening to uh, for 30 years. Thank you, Jeremy. We'll look forward to seeing you. Once again, this show comes to you live from Charleston, West Virginia. Well, Jeremy's spoken. Friday morning. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop him this morning. <clears throat> Pearl Jim. Uh, <laughs> Recess ladies breast. How could I forget? Uh, once again, uh, Saturday morning. Now, see, you got me doing it now. Friday morning and Friday evening. Live show, by the way, for uh, tickets available. Ticket match will be Joshy, uh, Patty G, Willie G, Jeff Oskay, me. I'll be there uh, as your host along with Christy Lee coming up this Friday. Hope to see you there. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Costello are well known for their classic routine, Who's On First? Mm -hmm. But this, too, is hopelessly out of date. Here's my version with the help of uh, Mr. Dean Metcalf. Okay. Hey, I bet! I'm the new team doctor. You being the manager, you got to tell me what drugs the different players are taking. Uh, certainly. Well, uh, who's on roids? What's on cocaine? I don't know's on meth. That's what I want to find out. I say who's on roids, what's on cocaine, and I don't know who's on meth. Are you the manager? <laughs> yes. Well, then who's on roids? Who? I mean the fella's name. 
Who? The guy on roids. Who? <laughs> what is the name of the guy on roids? <laughs> what is on cocaine? <laughs> no, I don't know what's on cocaine. <laughs> no, he's on meth. <sighs> <laughs> Look, do you know who's on roids? I'm telling you, who? The fellow on roids. Who? What is the name of the guy on roids? <laughs> what is on cocaine? I don't know. He's, He's on meth! <laughs> <laughs> there I go, back on meth again. All right, now calm down, calm okay. down. Listen, who comes up to me, mm -hmm. tells me he wants me to shoot him in the ass? Mm -hmm. I take the syringe, fill it with roids. Mm -hmm. I shoot who in the ass? There you go. That's the first right thing you've said all day. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. So you know the players? Forget the players. I need some heroin. What did you say? <laughs> I need some heroin. That's our shortstop. Why I order. End <laughs> scene. End scene. End scene. Uh. Paul Mercurio. <laughs> Hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. We wrote a 10-minute song about chick capping the oil spill. Did you? Yeah. Really? What? You might want to hear this. Yeah. Uh, what what now? I don't. Yeah. No, I, I, no I'm, I'm puzzled. Chick McGee capping the oil spill. Yeah, we just thought up a stupid little song. Uh huh. The problem is, is you got to get somebody to be able to go down that deep. Right. Uh -huh. It's humanly impossible. I've been for down eighty to do that. I've been down so, eighty feet. So the first part of the song has to do with <laughs> getting Chick's blood pressure down enough to where we can get him down. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> my impending death. This is hilarious. Uh, go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This may not be funny. I don't uh, know. Well, that's all right. So you far, couldn't measure the, Chick's blood pressure. It mm -hmm. was 20 over 10 or less. Chick had been married about 13 times. He'd fought the IRS. Chick was immune to pressure. His heart would barely beat. And the question was, could Chick McGee go down 5,000 feet? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Get my bearings. Fair enough. Chick scuba died for sucking treasure and sold the gold he'd found. And one day, Chick bought a submarine. He could take it a mile down. <laughs> Wasn't any telling how far down Chick would dive. Would it go down to the bottom and would Chick still survive? <laughs> Christy, don't move the paper while I'm saying I was trying to help. Could Chick cap off an oil spill? We'd have to... Uh, oil spill. Oil, do that oil spill. Could Chick cap off an oil spill? We'd have to wait and see. He'd pump gas at a Chevron and Chick to despise BP. Now you can uh, hear him. I Wouldn't want to do it quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Chick would pump gas at a Chevron and Chick despise BP. Because the BP station had a guy with a mullet and an Aussie satin coat who'd stand in the road and yell in the cars trying to sell some stupid boat. <laughs> oh, that guy. Donnie Baker. Oh, Donnie. Chick stopped the spill in about 10 minutes and came back up for air. Then he closed the hatch down one more time and drove it back down there, and Chick mooned Donnie Baker on the BP camera a mile down at sea, and Barack Obama, that's what's known as audacity, so don't tell me about audacity, let's find somebody who can whip the ass of somebody at BP, don't tell me about audacity. Yeah, show me a man that's smart and gracious, a man with a, that's sort of spacious, <laughs> the man who defines audacious, Chick McGee. Chick McGee. Hey! Yeah. The song would have been better if Christy had moved the paper quick. Uh huh. Yeah, I have to blame <laughs> Christy. I apologize. There's Man. a gigantic warehouse of stuff I don't get. I can't. And they serve non alcoholic beer there. Yeah. You know what? I, I, Boy, another I don't thing I don't that. understand Hooters has food to go. <laughs> 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 uh, who the hell's that for? <laughs> Good point. Bob and Tom 24 7. We have Chaz. Now, Chaz, do you want to describe the skill? Uh, I do the drum solo to Inity God of Vito with my throat. <laughs> Did <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That is in a God of Davida. Yeah. How Man, this. Just, wow. How did you learn yeah, that you had that you incredible that talent? talent? Uh, someone stole my radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what that'll you start do doing. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. Oh, that woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I'm making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety uh, first. So safe. Hi, this is Bobcat. Go tell Moto Holiday. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We've got some sports to uh, visit here, and also maybe the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Just around the corner. I, I made a bet with myself, and I lost. Uh-oh. What happened? Well, Jess Hooker's in here sitting in for Christy Lee today. And um, I thought for sure when we started, you, uh, Chick McGee, would comment on um, her... Uh, particular let me hang on write this down i um her particular uh the color of her sweater oh and uh i figured that you would shout it out um because it's awkward and peach coral salmon See, I, was, I was wrong i keep losing um, Sam salmon is what you want I'm i guessing. thought you were going to say titty two d's titty pink i don't think is that there? is i don't think that is titty pink no it's no. not that's not titty pink mm -mm. no Really? No. Titty pink is more I've pink. Worn, yeah, I've worn pink. Uh, uh, titty pink is... Uh, there you go. That. Oh, that says that? Okay. Whoa, that's pink. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a... It's Barbie. So if I Google T-I-D-D-Y pink, mm -hmm. it's not going to tell me I'm an insane man. Oh, no, it will. No. <laughs> He'll be on a list. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Chick taught me that, and I didn't. I've it'll, never heard that until... I've never heard it until Chick McGee brought it up. It'll come up. It is, but I'm... Okay. What color so is in it? In some places, it's coming up the other spelling. Ooh. Oh. They went full out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's, not the it's, two Ds, huh? Yeah, you it, will never believe the first picture for, uh, titty, th for titty this color. Pink. I, 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 I'm looking at it, and it's you. It's Yeah, it's us. It's Josh Arnold. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It no is. way. <laughs> and yep. it's we're sitting next to Olsman, who's wearing that color. Yeah. Oh, and then there's a right. And then there's a picture yes. of, uh, of a, uh, looks like a Bentley that's pink. Okay. And then there's a Sherwin Williams ad for Tiddy Pink, and yeah, how about that? It's a real thing, and it, it there it appears that there is an optional spelling. Josh, you are correct. All right. That's yeah. That's boy. <laughs> uh, but any, but I was wrong. I thought for sure you'd mention that chick, but I guess. I think it's peach. Yeah, it I is more peach. of a peach because now they have the they have the they have a flamingo, uh -oh. and they say the flamingo is T I D D Y Tiddy. Flamingo plush toy. Wow, okay. there was a uh, Amazon. there was a time uh, in uh, America when the most popular color for bathrooms was pink. I think man, pink, all yes, pink right? tile, yes, pink tile and pink tub, pink yeah, toilet. Everything uh, in the bathroom was I, pink. my first house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? that was the oh yeah, yeah, that was the unfortunate. The old Pepto Bismol. Bathroom. I had an old apartment that had that. My yeah. first house. I was so I thought it was so cool <laughs> because they had wall to wall carpeting in oh. the bathroom. Oh yeah. Gosh. I thought that was so cool. After about two happened? months, there was a mushroom growing out of the carpet. <laughs> had to pull the all the carpeting sure. out. Then they had to take the the plywood up because it was all soaked and oh, subfloor. Yeah. yeah, they had to take the subfloor up and reinforce the joist. It was yes. perfect. <laughs> of course, as a new homeowner, that's the first thing you learn is it's a money pit. <laughs> that was a cool house. I love that house. In fact, I just got a uh, I got a, a letter this morning from my old neighbor. <laughs> oh, yeah? At that house? Yeah, Larry. How What's, How's old Larry doing? <laughs> I am Larry, seriously. Have you... I'm have not you, kidding. Have yeah. you sent him a letter? No, he just said I'm... He, he lives in... Wait, hang on a second. Um, he lives in, uh, he was, uh, uh, sorry, driving through Yuma, Arizona, Why? heard us on the radio and had a flashback to those days. That's wow. nice. Right there. That's I'm not really kidding. Sweet. It this just came in this morning, speaking of that old house. But yeah, if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in your uh, bathroom, uh, look forward to Ugh. harvesting some mushrooms. Gross. You won't find this surprising. I, uh, I will not be getting any, uh, mail from any of my old neighbors. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> did they lose, did you lose them in the divorce? No. No, I just uh, never uh, had them. Mm. Uh, Do you like your neighbors now? Uh, uh, yeah, there are a couple that are okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know Le their names? Leonard and uh, 
Dog lady. I don't know what hmm. dog lady's name is. We just call her dog lady. I hope she has a dog. You're not just being mean. No, no. She looks like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get back to sports before we slander some poor... <laughs> I'm funny! <laughs> <laughs> all on my street, we all know each other. Yeah. No kidding? It's real. Yeah. yeah. Well, but you had to report to all the houses, right? When you That's right. Yes, you're right. I, when I first moved in, I met them all, but... In accordance oh. with Megan's law, I had to. Oh, not going to Thank you. Happy now? See, I wanted, to, I wanted to go straight to sports. No. <laughs> now we've got... Uh, What's uh, the problem? Is there a big problem? No. Who gets a mail from their old neighbors, I you did this weirdo? I did this morning. Yeah. Tom, I haven't heard from this Tom guy. Tom is wildly friendly when he's not with us. He really he is. is. He's kind. He and is. You, were, you were in this house. You love that house. He helps. Oh, that guy. Oh. It, it's not Carl, is it? Well, we call oh, him Larry. Carl. No. So this guy's name's Larry. We had a hats uh, off to Larry. He you goes. Remember, uh, you used to you used to park the hog in your driveway. I used to mow oh, your yeah. lawn. <laughs> All right. He never did pay me. So I paid him. So, so Larry is short for Lorenzo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I've always lived in a diverse, there was a guy diverse neighborhoods. People have, the, people have different color oh, sure. Mercedes. Across the street <laughs> from my house, he had a Ford Bronco that he drove and a Ford Bronco for parts, both in his driveway. And then he had a, he generator, had a giant generator. He had a giant uh, tar machine. I thought it was a generator. It was a generator. No, yeah, that, that huge machine. tank. Yeah, it was, it was a. It was for making. Yeah, absolutely. Tar. Yeah, I used to. That's not right. I have a relative in, that lived in that house. That's the. Yes. Why would he have a tar? No one has a tar machine. Yeah. He did. The street department. Unless you're trying to keep the villagers away. Right. <laughs> what are tar. you talking about? He had a big black tar machine. It wasn't. It was a generator. <laughs> it's not a generator. It was. Okay. I have pictures. Uh, I would love to see the pictures of the. Tar You'd machine. recognize one because it's a giant tar-making machine, not a generator. The larger point All is... All right, what do you put in the machine to arrive at tar? Yeah. Like oil and How gasoline? Do you make, where do you think I'm you, waiting. Where tar do you think seats? they make tar? In the truck when they're going... <laughs> That's cement. It's, it's not... <laughs> well, if the point is your neighbor was a redneck that had about four vehicles in his driveway. And he mm. uh, looked like Captain Carl from uh, Pee Wee's... I love Captain Carl. Big adventure oh, yeah. house. Go, by the, way, the letter continues. You had a dog named Elvis who played with our dog named Mozart. Did you? Do you remember that's, all that? I remember all that. I remember this guy for sure. Mm, okay. That's nice. He was. A, he was a, like a high school junior. He's, he's not asking you to send him money. No, he's just saying hi. Oh, okay, right. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for the letter, Larry. I appreciate it. Well, if he'd like to make any contentions about you in a negative way, I can back those up. You were in that house. You were in the house across the street. Some lady got murdered in there. No. I was. Out of town. I can tell you that. No, I didn't know that. Drowned in a, a tar machine. Yeah. What? In different house, yeah. No, I got off the air one day. There were cops in the front lobby going, you see anything suspicious? Oh, yeah, it was very ugly. Oh. Very ugly story. Uh, <clears throat> so let's get back to the sporting page. A show. tar machine is his contention. Did he have a blacktop driveway? Like, did he have to fix it a lot? No, he just, he just had this really ugly, he probably bought it at an auction. I didn't know what to do I with never, it. Oh, just... I never smelled tar. This is your neighbor? Yes. Why does Tom contend he knows more about what was going because on? Because his... he bought the house from one of uh, my in-laws. Oh. Well. So you were also pretty aware of this. I neighbor. didn't buy the house. I was I was told we are buying the house. Oh, you, I, oh, oh, you yeah, bought yeah. the house. That's the one where we're during, the, during the divorce, hey. she put the... Uh, the Redskins barbecue grill out for the garbage people. To I don't uh, see you got these stories are that yeah, was not that house. They're good stories, but they, I don't they, ne they don't make me laugh or I'm not happy when I okay, hear. Let's them. let's move on. <laughs> I've been trying to move now, on for five now minutes. it is now it's yeah. You know, now I still now. get a little bummed yeah. out. It is a bummer. I don't like that my buddy chick was uh, hurt by these ladies. <laughs> Something else, huh? Uh, more sports coming up, including uh, moonshine. Uh, United <laughs> Football League. <laughs> and who the hell's Rube Goldberg? i tell you who he is. Uh, he yeah. makes everything complicated. Dickie Dick will tell you all about that we got Goldberg a, a, guy. Really cool robot story. It really be, cool. Is it a robot or a, a mechanized it's, lever? It's robots. So it has and, a face. And this could be the future of, uh, well, I won't say what, but I think this is going to work. Oh. Uh, and it's a, it's a, 
wandering robot <laughs> in a very public place. And I'm telling you, I think this, this is going to be the future of this particular problem. Uh, when we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. I have a bean for lunch and then a bean for dinner. <laughs> yes, yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. No, no it's not. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. People say I got a bad break. Hey man, what's going on? Yeah, it's just so cool, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I love the Bob and Tom show because they represent America, the Constitution of the United States, and I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, so anyway, I was asking, uh, somebody uh, told me uh, that you are a mayor in Hillsborough, Ohio. Uh, that, that's got to be uh, really interesting. Uh, hey, tell me about it. <laughs> hey, Mr. Potter, how are you building a loan? Oh, gosh, Yogi, I'm all sticky. Hello, this is Droopy Dog. Hello. Hi, uh, welcome to the Mr. Obvious Show. I am your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. something else about living alone sure yeah sure unless are you what do you want to move in what's going on no, no, i'm just curious I just tom's always... looking forward to that day <laughs> this interests me yeah I, I i i have a lot of uh -huh. people hanging out of my house but i enjoy that um do you uh you said you had a cat i do have a cat do you have a dog i don't have a dog and oh. that was taken uh, in the divorce we had a, a part rottweiler pot part doverman mm -hmm. named <laughs> That was his name. Good boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a good boy. He is a good boy. But I'm thinking about getting a dog. Uh, Dogs are great. Yeah, they are. And um, especially, I, I'll tell you, I'm interested in, in, in the Chihuahua only because the Chihuahua, I can learn a lot from a Chihuahua. They have, I need empowerment lessons from a Chihuahua because a Chihuahua has this species amnesia. They have no idea mm -hmm. of their relative size yep. and the scope of of reality and I need that because you go over to someone's house that has a chihuahua and right there they're just they're there hey just ready to go uh -huh. you, you, you wear you weigh four ounces I could mail you <laughs> in a priority package for 485 <laughs> and you're gonna tear my ass up is that what's happening here <laughs> uh -huh. what I don't what I don't like about um, certain dog owners is that they I don't mind talking to, to your animal but don't include me in the conversation with the uh, dog that's my only problem is when you're talking to me talk to me right you know oh did you go up to Yosemite this uh, summer mm -hmm. oh it's great Some, Yosemite's beautiful uh, Earl and I went up there last year we got in a tent it was great it rained and oh boy Pepper didn't like that did you Pepper no you didn't <laughs> you wanted to get out of that tent didn't you you bar tell Dwight how much you hated it that's right <laughs> <laughs> anyway so there's nothing to do but you know we had Earl and I just got it on the whole time <laughs> and that's all you can do Pepper didn't like that did you no, you thought Daddy was hurting Mommy, didn't you, Pepper? Look at look at Pepper's face. You don't know what I'm saying, do you? Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Anyway, we did the Mexican cartwheel and a big wheel. Nice. And that was very nice. Oh, yeah. Isn't that right, Pepper? Oh. <laughs> don't bite me! You need hardware, you need Fergler. That's right, Fergler's Hardware Store. Burglars dares you to beat their prices on anything in the store. That's right. Crazy Ernie's lost his mind and everything must go. Ladders, lumber, nails, <laughs> including the kitchen sink. Burglars Hardware Store, where you make out like a burglar when you shop.
Burglar. Free popcorn Mondays. Free coffee Fridays. Free parking. It's crazy Ernie's going out of business sale. Everything must be Burglar's hardware store. If Burglar's doesn't have it, you don't fergin' need it. Hi, I'm Ernie Fergler. We he's Ernie Fergler. <laughs> if you don't come buy some stuff today, he'll kick your ass. Be there. You don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Are you a computer geek? No, no. I see, I didn't grow up with computers. Mm -hmm. That's why children have the advantage. They slip out of the womb. They're born with a password. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? You look yeah. at the ultrasound, you see the sex of the child who's internet provider is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you're, you're an email guy, then. Oh, no, no. Well, I check my email. I never get real emails. They're all junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a junk box, and the junk box is like, look, we don't even have time to sort out this stuff. <laughs> and it's all that. Uh, burn DVDs, lose weight, consolidate debt, and then be like, young teen sluts, whores, <laughs> triple X. <laughs> Thousands of it. And then I got a weird one in the middle that says, do you need a birdhouse? <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, I actually got that. And I'm like, who's the birdhouse guy? And then every day I get this email, Jim, do you want to enlarge your penis? Yep. Like, and uh, how did I get on the small Willie email list? That is the real question. <laughs> Comedian Jeff Rothpan here in the studio with us. When I was a kid, all these other kids got to go to the Barnum and Bailey Circus. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember begging my dad, please, I want to go. All the other kids are going. He said, no, we just can't afford it. Tickets are expensive. He ended up taking us to this Bob Circus. It was actually called, no, this is true. Bob, Bob Circus. Circus. Yeah, and it was in a mall parking lot. <laughs> and what a difference. I remember the guy yelling, and now huge midgets. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, there was just one after another, the, the bearded man. <laughs> I think they actually had the talking mute. Hi! <laughs> Damn, what the hell is this? How does he do it? <laughs> he's amazing. He's a mute, yet he speaks. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh. An AC system. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's... Tom Griswold. Uh, coming up coming up Friday, this show will be coming to you from beautiful Charleston, West Virginia. Almost heaven. And we're going to be uh, on the air live from there Friday morning. And then that evening, a special show at the theater at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Tickets for that show available at Ticketmaster. Starring Patty G, Willie G, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oskay, Chris and I will be your hosts. Hope to see you there. In the meantime, we turn to Chick McGee over there. What's going on? Uh, possible moonshine cave has been uncovered beneath the grandstands of a legendary NASCAR track in North Carolina. Hmm. According to officials at the North Wil Wilkesboro Speedway, the 700-square-foot open area was discovered during a routine cleaning and inspection. Speedway Motorsports executive Steve Swift said, We'd often hear stories of how an old moonshine still was operated here on the property under the grandstands. We haven't found a still yet, but we found a small cave and an interior wall that would have been the perfect location to not only make illegal liquor, but to hide from the law as well. Interesting. NBC News reports Moonshine is no stranger to NASCAR in North Carolina. Many early stars got their start carrying legal moonshine on the rough mountain roads of Appalachia. Mm, okay. It's kind of cool. That's the legend, of course. And I guess a lot of fans are urging them to turn it into some kind of a little, like, mini mini bar to celebrate uh, celebrate the uh, the history of moonshining. And that sort of is the origin of NASCAR. Liquor runs. Yeah, they could uh, make it an Airbnb. Isn't that how the Kennedys made their for fortune? Bringing it over from Canada. Illegal liquors. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why I said absolutely. <laughs> and then you move on to the next story. <laughs> what do you think they brought over, like Everclear or vodka? Or it must have been like a ba really basic. It was from Canada, uh, so it was mostly Labatt's. Oh, your really? Mol your Molson's. Okay. Yeah. Tim Hortons. 
Uh, vodka. The United <laughs> Football League. This is a story that, get comfortable, Tom's going to bathe and wallow in his I was right dance. Are you ready? The United Football League has introduced technology to track the exact location of the football during games. Mm -hmm. The league announced that it's collaborating with Bolt 6 to integrate its true line technology into UFL games. Six calibrated 4K cameras have been installed around each stadium, allowing real-time ball spotting capabilities. Bolt 6's machine learning models that work to determine the ball's exact position on the field. The new technology implemented when the UFL's season kicked off uh, yesterday. Saturday. Saturday. So there you go. <laughs> Isn't that great? Mm, I have no interest. Well, this, uh, this prevents the human error. They'll know where the ball is. They're not going to have to have that yes, chain gang that, that, out there. Part of being a... <sighs> if you've got uh, money on the game, you don't want nah. the hungover referee to uh, <laughs> make the wrong call when they can... This will tell them... The, How often the, does the that chain, happen? The chain in the gang. Past? The chain gang has always been a joke. Why? I've You're... been on a chain gang. I've done it. <laughs> at, at an NFL level a high or a seventh game. grade level. It's the same thing. You're... It's the same thing. <laughs> the same tech. Not the same outdated technology. I think the chain gang guys in the NFL have quite the lobby. Uh, but uh, did you keep reading with what else they did? Uh, no, you go ahead. If you if you <laughs> kick if you kick a ball and it, and it hits the uprights, it plays a sad trombone. Wah wah wah. Oh, oh that seems uh, just that grateful. Great? That's uh, yeah. The, 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 rubbing the, it in. There's it. a speaker in the ball. That's what happened. Is that uh, right? Yeah, yeah. I think this is this is a smart move. They can tell where the ball is. They're not going to have to. They know where the ball is already. Yeah, but they, they, they don't have they don't have to do this. They spot it wrong all the time. No, they don't. <laughs> They do not spot it wrong all the time. Maybe five or six times a okay, year. Here you unless go. the Raiders are playing. This, then uh, they're always spotted here, here, wrong. This is in Bro Bible. It says, from this weekend's UFL game between the Birmingham Stallions and the Arlington Renegades. Again. Arlington running back Letty Brown scampered out of bounds right at the first down marker. A live official might have granted a fresh set of downs. The technology did not. The technology said he ran out of bounds when the ball was five inches short of a first down. Happy now? No, just taking uh, the human element out of football. Let's get rid of the players, too. We need robots is what we need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get them out there. Yeah, and I think eyeballing gets important. Oh, that's what they do with uh, the lasers and medical work these days. No need to measure. I'm just going to eyeball that tumor. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't see the point I'm trying to make. You no, know, I understand. I do a lot of point. Yeah, yeah, of exactly. Of course. So you think the human error on the refereeing side is a smart thing to have? I don't know if it's a smart thing, but it's part of the game. Just it's like the, the weather is a part there of the game. There are some who would argue now we have to start the, the, all new stats. Yes. Because, yeah. of, because of changes like this. Okay, fine. What, what, I don't know. That's just uh, an argument. What's next? Uh, one leg can be down, uh, then you're in back. Instead of the two well, feet. What's next is putting electrodes on their knees. and <laughs> So we know exactly where the players yeah. are. Of course, yeah. Even off the field. Oh, of course, that's the most important thing. And what they're up to yeah. and what they're doing. And if they're speeding oh, well, on the highway like, in Dallas. Looks like Jimmy's at a bar with a bunch of fancy vests. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, fancy vest. <laughs> Go ahead and pull that rifle if you want to. But you better speak to your boss before you use it. Because he'll be dead before I hit the ground. He'll be dead before Did he talk I like that in every movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Even when he played Genghis Khan. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, he did. During, oh. An, during an interview, no, the way the awkward, uh, uh, <laughs> unconventional places that he pauses right. was kept meant to keep the camera on him. He, he said that during an interview. Really? Because if I... Pause. <laughs> they, you know, yeah, it's hard to cut around. Way that, Did yeah. he talk like that in interviews too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Hmm. He's in some great movies, though. He's not um, just. Oh, The Quiet Man is amazing. I haven't seen The Quiet Man. Oh, my gosh. I Who's really the director that? on that? I don't know. Like Tarantino? <laughs> you can take some tips from The Quiet Man. Who, me? Yeah. Hmm. What, do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't understand. Is that, that. sports? <sighs> No, Tom. Stupid world oh. record. A trio. What is that, like two? <laughs> of HVAC companies have broken a Guinness World Record with a 
Rube Goldberg machine made from air conditioners. Uh, do you know what that means? Yeah. This is so okay. silly. One of those super complicated. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah, that, that, like the mousetrap. Yeah, that, that, like the game mousetrap. Exactly. Yeah. Domino exactly. World. Medea air conditioning. Oh, it's Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry's <laughs> Medea air conditioning. <laughs> and Film uh, Hurricane collaborated to create the world's largest household air conditioning unit slash Rube Goldberg machine. The machine consisted of 68 air conditioning components and over 70 steps, exceeding the minimum by 20 steps. Hmm. That's fun. I don't know how it works or why <laughs> it's, it's just a Goldberg What's machine. What's the end game? Or it, if it, there's it, a marble coming down. Does yeah, it, it, it blow it's, cold air at the end? The, yeah, it's, right, it's right. To, to turn on the AC. Okay. Oh, okay. You hit is the switch. Is there a video of it? So yes, I just can... said that five minutes ago. Where is it? On the internet, which is now available <laughs> on your computer. Yeah, it's what Google it. You know, it's got the dominoes falling yeah. and then it, it, it trips does. things that fly and hit yeah. something else that hits something else. That but the end game is to, it turns on the air conditioning. Yeah, it could, okay. be an, it could turn on anything, but since they're an HVAC company. Sure, sure. Okay, gotcha. That's fun. Uh, I like that. It's just fun. Yeah. To have a little fun with something out there. Yeah. You can stick a link up to it. You can go to the Guinness World Record website and they'll show you what's going on there. The only people um, who didn't enjoy this were the people waiting to get their air conditioners oh, fixed by yeah. these clowns. Hey, uh, uh, what, what's your turnaround? Six weeks? Yeah. Why is that? Oh, you're playing you're, with dominoes, huh? You're, you're messing around, huh? <laughs> Did your dad ever say to you, great. what are you trying to do, cool down the whole neighborhood? Oh, yeah. every parent, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. So it's kind of fun. Something I'm not cool paying to... Uh, is that sports? <laughs> yeah, I can't find the video. Okay, all right. Um, I don't know what happened to it. It's uh, <clears throat> Guinness That's World it. Records. It's That's a well-known it. company. <laughs> uh, now, um, um, let's say, uh, i got to hear from Finn. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Rocky, this is what you farted for. Wait, we go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Jess? Germany has legalized recreational cannabis sales. Effective today? April 1st, adults will be allowed to possess up to 25 grams of cannabis and grow up to three plants for personal use. Then, beginning July 1st, adults can join so-called social clubs where they can buy up to 25 grams of cannabis with a cap of 50 grams per month. A lot of rules. Yeah. Very German. Mm. That cap is uh, 30 grams for members under 21. Okay. Uh, social clubs cannot be located near schools or playgrounds, and each jurisdiction could have only one club for every 6,000 residents. Clubs will be limited to 500 members and will need a social club permit, which would be valid for up to seven years with the possibility of receiving an extension. A lot of rules. That wow. is a lot. But legal pot in Germany. Okay. Wish they'd had this, uh, I don't know, back in September of 39. <laughs> <laughs> Might have slowed down that invasion of Poland. Might have, might Chill have, some uh, people out, yeah. 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 Relax a little hey, bit. Instead of invading Poland, you guys just want to go to White Castle. Der Crystal Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> you get some good schnitzel. Uh, a, little, a little that delicious. You know, wiener schnitzel is not a wiener. Did you guys Weren't know you this? disappointed the first time you found that out? Yes. What? What is yeah. it? It's like a tenderloin. Yeah, I was in my 20s. I, I, wanted, yeah. I thought it was going to be like a sauce. Sausage. Me too. And it's real flat. And, uh, and they yeah. pound it out. It's, it's like exactly a pounded, like a tenderloin. Oh, pounded so it's, tenderloin. it's still pork. It's kind of, yeah. 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 Okay. It's pork. But you hear Wiener, you think, oh. Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> yeah. yeah mm. it's, it's hot dog. Well, what does Wiener mean? I thought Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it the Wiener Republic? Weren't they? Uh... No, oh, it's a place? The Rymark. What? Weimar. No, oh, it's close. Oh, uh, Weimar, Wiener. Uh, you say Weiner, I say Wiener. <laughs> um, Wiener? So in any event, uh, if you're in Germany today, um, off Wiedersehen. Off you got, uh, you, But a lot of rules before you can smoke the pot. Um, uh, it, sh it should be interesting to see how that uh, flies in Europe. Oh, it, well, it's not pork. It's uh, baby cow. Wiener schnitzel oh, veal. is a type of schnitzel made of a thin breaded pan fried veal cutlet. Ah, oh, okay. What's it's, on it's top? It's tasty. Gravy? Um, it Ash looks potatoes? like, uh, uh, pico? So is the American oh, okay. breaded veal cutlet? 
based on that then? It must be. I, I don't I think, think, you I, get, uh, think the you Italians. Get the, thing you get at the state fair that looks like a big elephant ear with a bun on it. Mm. That's pork, though, usually, That's pork isn't it? tenderloin, yeah. That's a pork tenderloin, okay. Yeah, yeah usually veal. you don't get the veal. Wiener schnitzel isn't... <laughs> no. Wiener schnitzel isn't a kind of hot dog. Wiener doesn't mean hot dog. It means from Vienna. Ah, okay. There you go. Wiener schnitzel. Look at all this stuff we're learning. That like means it. like... Uh, uh, Wiener, Ohio. No, oh, yeah, Wiener, Ohio would be, I'm from Ohio. Oh, you're a... Uh, Wiener schnitzel? No, Wiener no. is Vienna. Wiener Vienna. Ohio schnitzel. There you go. Okay, well, I'm sure they make a nice schnitzel in Ohio. We're going to be doing our <laughs> schnitzel in West Virginia coming up Friday morning and Friday night. Ticketmaster for tickets to that special evening show. It'll star Patty G, Willie G, Josh, Mr. Oske, yours truly, and uh, Christy Lee. Boy, right now, I want to talk about food. <laughs> Speaking of food, Hello Fresh. Give Hello Fresh a try and dig into their biggest menu yet. Over 45 recipes to choose from every week. Looking to eat better? Well, HelloFresh has over 30 calorie-smart and protein-smart options on the menu each week that make it easier to stay on top of your food goals. Winter is winding down. Make mealtime easier. you got a, a lot less time these days. you got all kinds of stuff you got to do. So uh, why not make uh, not going to the grocery store one of your priorities and not looking around for all the ingredients and struggling through recipes? Every HelloFresh box is packed with fresh ingredients and has all the directions of what to do. What are you looking at over there, Jen? Cheesy prosciutto wrapped chicken over spaghetti with Tuscan spice marinara. Oh, my gosh. Oh. My mouth is watering. Mm -mm. Uh, now, also, by the way, sign up today. You'll unlock free dessert for life. So satisfy your sweet tooth with um, some delightful desserts and your choice with every HelloFresh box for free as long as you keep that subscription active. Got a new uh, new code for you. HelloFresh. Join today. Get that free dessert offer by going to HelloFresh.com slash bts how sweet that's bts how sweet once again one free dessert item per box with an active subscription by going to hellofresh.com slash bts how sweet save yourself a bunch of time and cook some great gourmet quality food it's a great way to teach the kids how to cook by the way because all the ingredients are right there on the box and they're all measured for you hellofresh.com slash bts how sweet coming right back we have uh, William Shakespeare in the news with pot involved. We've got some eclipse news for you and um, marshmallows falling from the sky. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob. He's Bob, I'm Bob, and he's Tom, and I'm Tom. What is it, Tom? San Francisco's gay Jewish congregation, Shah Arzahov, has dedicated its new synagogue. This is true, with two members engaging in the ceremonial blowing of the ram's horn. <laughs> K-I-Z-Z-F-M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it! <laughs> Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> Golly, Earl. That might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> I'd killed my wife when I'd wanted to. I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, when I'm dancing, what part of my body should not move? Mm, your bowels. <laughs> ah. I got some dap butt crack filler putty back here. I'll just fill that crack right in there, Bob. Comedian <laughs> Tim Allen. Oh, God. Using Damn, laxatives and a rectal scope, doctors were able to collect what? evidence over a period of four oh, days. Oh, I must have one. <laughs> rectal scope is a mouthwash. <laughs> your color's back to your face. Oh, I was gray this morning. So is yours, Tony. Tony, you're... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I've, I've got to go. Uh, you're getting away. My wife, when the first time she pregnant, all I saw of her for nine months was her ass hanging out of a refrigerator. And if you believe that, I can't say that. <laughs> Bishop Emeritus Frederick W. Freaking, who headed the Roman Catholic Freaking. Diocese. What's his name? He was 85. Did they have to pull the freaking plug? <laughs> 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 hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. 
ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See, see you there! there. Get, I mean, how do you ignore a guy tapping on your big headphone with the light on? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, yeah. uh, so, you know, and, and he just started the small no talk. Way. You know, like business no or way pleasure. And I'm like, music. You know, the, I'm into the music. So I had to kind of take him off and be polite. And it was very awkward. All that. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite an invasion, I think. <laughs> it's you should never tap so. on somebody's head. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. You know, yeah. Plane's on fire, sir. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's your personal space. No one's supposed <laughs> to be think in so. there. Yeah. Was it John Candy? Because it sounds like plane. <laughs> Trains and uh, my dogs well, are barking. <laughs> Lord Coretta is a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately, I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera. In my rectum. Oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from it. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Sean Maury, and you're... Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, I'm Chick, and... Tom, we have our special guest with us right I now. I think we do. There's the very handsome Greg Warren. Hi, Greggy. In a beautiful red T-shirt. Hey, yeah. Greg, how are you this morning? Look at those eyes. Hey, guys. Pop. How's it going? Hey. Good, good. I can't see the cap. What is the uh, logo on that? Is it a critter of oh, some it's sort? A, it's, a, it's a cardinal. A uh, cardinal. Uh, it's a bird. Uh, St. Louis cardinal that would be pitching. You oh, know, it looked like a St. Louis cardinal that got hit by a truck. Well, uh, if you watched the game last night, uh, they did. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just going to say, they they ran into the buzzsaw that is the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers here. Uh, and uh, Mookie Betts. And, uh, yeah. It's not even fair, Chick. They, no. Their first three guys in their lineup are MVPs. Right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they, they are amazing. Well, what's on your mind today, Greg Warren? Well, I want to talk about the Eclipse. All oh. right. All right. Yeah. Uh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse was first produced in 1989. Hey. Uh, partnership with Chrysler. <laughs> huh. 
Uh, no, I'll talk about the the uh, the big event uh, a week from today, uh, April eighth. Uh, it's a, it's a big one, uh, guys. Everybody in the continental U.S. will see at least a partial eclipse. Mm -hmm. The worst you're going to get is a sixteen percent. Uh, I would imagine there's some people who are like, I'm not getting out of bed for no sixteen percent. <laughs> Over 60 or I don't move. But uh, <laughs> the path of totality, that's uh, the line where you can see the whole thing goes through 15 states. Wow. Where, uh, and uh, it's uh, the first people that are going to get to see that uh, are the folks down in uh, Las Quintas, Fronterizas, Texas. That's at 1.27 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't make it down to Las Quintas, I suggest just check into a La Quinta Inn anywhere. <laughs> in the oh, US. nice. They got a deal, do they? Yeah, I'd see a pretty similar situation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't the, see the, anything different, really. No. Not at all, Chick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the last folks to see it will be in Littleton, Maine. That's uh, 332 Eastern Time. That's a border town up on Canada. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty quick event. You know, it's, it's, it's not more than a couple hours. Um, the longest time anybody can see a total eclipse in history is seven minutes and 32 seconds. We're not going to get that time, that, that wow. this time. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, this time, the most you could see, uh, four minutes and 28 seconds. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's down in Naza, Mexico. So book your tickets right now. If you want to, want to get down there. Well, a lot of people, um, a lot of people are, a lot of people are moving. Yeah. You know, well, and a lot I'm of going. There to, are people to, that are taking an airplane. Didn't we have that story yeah. that uh, yes. specifically? It's going to follow the eclipse. Following the eclipse in an airplane. Yeah. So I just, uh, I just hope you're on the left side of the plane if it's going. <laughs> no, yeah. <what>? yeah. You <laughs> or everybody, to. everybody rushes to that side, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, then and will the plane tip over? Or? Yep, it sure will. Yes. Okay. Yeah. These are uh, chick. You're right. These are called uh, eclipse chasers, just mm -hmm. like they have storm chasers. There's a name for them: Umbra files. Uh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, an umbrophile, that, that uh, translates as shadow lover. It's not somebody who does uh, sick things to an umbrella. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I see. It's not some yeah. sick shadow puppet uh, artist, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah, look at I, I wouldn't Please, even yeah. discuss that on this report. <laughs> it's yeah. not that kind of a report. Like, it's a wiener. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, what do you think of that? That's, uh, that's great, how Kevin. This? How about this? Man, I, yeah, you're real good at that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't want to go to that no. guy's show. It's a, it's a wolf eating a wiener. Look yeah, at no, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we get that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. He's eating a wiener, Greg. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> you're you're really good at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, something else. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Oh, yeah. You like the uh, Guys, this is something you need to be careful of. Now, now if you're in the total eclipse, you can look at... Uh, you, you can look at it without glasses on, without special glasses on. But if it's a partial eclipse at all, you got to put on those special eclipse glasses. And uh, it pains me to even think that this is a thing in our country, but you need to beware of counterfeit eclipse glasses. Sure. <laughs> can you think of a bigger scumbag than the guy <laughs> that's selling... Yeah. That is a yeah. dirt bag. And then he'll right be there. selling white canes the next day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's the uh they said if the if the sunglasses have a NASA seal of approval on them, they're probably fake. Uh oh, oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Also, if they're really big and they have windshield wipers on them, <laughs> yes. those are yeah. probably fake. Oh, yeah. oh damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you heard this before. I mentioned this, uh, Greg, that uh, Ace is quite thrifty, and he's uh, he's going to wait till next Tuesday. Here he can get a really really good deal on a pair of those uh, pair of those special dark glasses. So. Uh, oh yeah, well, well, Ace, uh, you're not going to be able to use those until 2044. Man, and I'll, uh, I'll be my sixty that's the, by then. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be on Social that's Security the, by then, right? It's funny because he'll yeah, that, he'll actually be dead. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. 2044 is the next time uh, we're going to see one of these guys. Uh, that is uh, in Montana or the Dakotas. Mm. Uh, and then 2045, you would have to go to California, Florida, 
or Nevada. So uh, no, get out there I was, and see it. These umbrophiles travel all over the world to see them. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting thing, Tom. Um, eclipses are not as rare as you think, but most of them occur over water. So the world is 70% water. It's just nobody sees most of the eclipses. Hmm. So if you're stranded on a, a raft or something out there and you're dying from starvation <laughs> uh, or dehydration, Odds there are. is a silver lining. <laughs> yeah. There's a silver yeah. lining. There, there, yeah, you, you might be able to see something. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, he probably drowned blind. Didn't have the glasses with him. No, he got, yeah, he got, you got, got yeah. a really good look-see just before yeah, it went into totality. out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, the moon, guys, the moon is uh, moving... Uh, about an inch a year away from the Earth, uh, uh, what? which means. When, when, no, wait a minute. When did this start happening? That doesn't Chick, sound it's good. It's been going on for some time. I've been telling you about this for a long time. You don't <laughs> listen. It's also shrinking, right? What? Or is it just getting farther that. away? Yeah, the moon's <laughs> also. <laughs> yeah, the moon's shrinking. Well, which is it? Both. Is it shrinking or getting farther away? Yeah. I know the it's time, going... By the time Ace is on Social Security, it'll be the size of a golf ball at this pace. Well, that seems yeah, like it, it would it, have some Tom, sort I mean, of effect on the oceans. Am I wrong about this? Will the water... Uh, the ocean... The seawater will come out of its banks? Mm -hmm. It will be flooded. Well, I'm I'm not about panic on this report. I just... <laughs> well, no, yeah, no. It's, well, well I think if there's a time say, to panic, it's time right, it's right now, Greg. Let's panic. Here we go. Oh, Chick, here we a go. A lot of people listen to you. You can't d d cause this mass hysteria. Uh -huh. Look, the only thing we know about the moon is that it's hollow. Right. This, uh, researchers uh, from the right. University of Maryland report the moon has been gradually shrinking over the past few hundred million years. Oh. The moon has uh, lost 150 feet in circumference. So there you go. So we got it's, a couple... We got a couple days. Now. Yeah, oh. and it's my understanding, Josh, to put to your earlier point, the moons over Miami. Uh, Those have also been shrinking. Has been shrinking yes. at, at Denny's because those have those have yeah 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 I I uh, served those for uh, a couple weeks uh, after college and it's uh, yeah they're tasty. they're not quite as big yeah they it's a it's a good dish yeah. Um, what what I'm trying to say here is at some point there will never be. Uh, a total eclipse again oh. because the moon's getting farther away. It, you'll, you'll only get partial eclipses. So get out there and see it, guys. It's like uh, it's like Kenny Rogers roasters, man. I'd love to go to one, but you, they're gone. You can't. <laughs> That's a shame too. That was a good product. Yeah, it's gone. So you, you can't you can't see it anymore. You ever have one of those? I never oh. got to try it. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's good stuff. I don't know uh, what happened. The the uh, eclipse, uh, of course is during the new moon lunar phase. So all eclipses occur during new moon, but there's not always an eclipse during the new moon. New moon, uh, I would you say one of my... You left me standing alone. <laughs> that's, a, oh, well, that's, a, that's blue moon. Blue. Oh, yeah. That's blue moon, okay. chick. I think you're thinking of oh. new moon on Monday and a fire <laughs> dance through the night. New moon on Monday. Yes. I, think, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. the Duran Duran. That's right. Guys, we're going to have a new moon this Monday at Stubby's West and we'll be having a fire <laughs> dance all night long. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Duran Duran and Greg, the Cure. Is there any truth to uh, the fact that the last new moon didn't go over well so they had to Re uh, introduce it as Moon Classic. Ah, uh, ah, it's a new Coke joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah, I believe uh, Max Headroom was involved. Ah, in <laughs> uh, the fabulous Matt Frewer. Yes. <laughs> Is that who that was? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That Great cow. TV show. Nope. That's a nice nope, Not at all. Ace, you liked it? I did. <laughs> loved, loved it. Here comes the punchline. <laughs> Sorry for all you stu stu stutterers out there. <laughs> Is this considered insensitive? <laughs> that's Max. That's, that's, uh, we should explain uh, to Miss Hooker that Max Headroom was an MTV creation. Yeah, I do remember that. I didn't know he had a show, though. Oh, yeah. And direct ripoff rip of Porky Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I got to say, the funniest thing I've ever seen on television still to this day is Porky Pig was trying to explain something to uh, Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And he... Uh, 
<laughs> he, he kept stuttering. He's like, but 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 and but he's like, here, just write it down. And he wrote P dash P dash P dash. <laughs> Is that right? A good day in the writers' room for those guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, those guys uh, those are those tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a uh, uh, you know the uh, an eclipse is, of course, that's when the three celestial bodies line up, yeah. and when three celestial bodies line up, that's called a syzygy. You guys familiar with this? Yeah, it's that weird, uh, like almost no vowels in the beginning of that word. It's, yeah. it's uh, well, if you, it, unless you count a Y. Sure. Yeah, S Y Z G Y. Well, but no, but yeah. and when two girls line up, it's a scissors <laughs> G. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. were you yeah, aware yeah. of that, Greg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're aware. When of that, three Greg. girls line up, uh, it's called Banana Rama, <laughs> and that is my favorite scissor G right there. Sarah, <laughs> Shobin, Karen, all lookers, and yeah. uh, right. man, could they sing? <laughs> wow. And, you know, I'm your Venus. Ah. It's a cruel summer, Greg. It is. It is. It's a cruel summer. <laughs> it's a okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, did you girls. know that um, arrangements have been made for blind people to uh, be able to take in the eclipse? We had the news story earlier this morning. There's going to be like a, a, a device that has rows of dots that will pop up and down, kind of like Braille. And there's also a sonic um, a machine that will change the pitch and the, the tone of a, of a musical note, apparently, to walk blind people through it if you will it's not fair i mean you yeah, these guys are <laughs> you, Sorry, choose, Josh, to, you choose to be blind you, oh, God, you right. forego yeah, things yeah, like very so. high shot i should have interrupted him i should <laughs> yeah, have interrupted yeah, him. you tried yeah, it turns out you should I, have, I, I yeah. tried to save him i tried to save him uh, i uh i went to did you guys go to the eclipse last time it was in 2017 uh yeah, yeah well, i think we had lunch chick and i yeah. watched the yeah. eclipse outside of a restaurant yeah yeah, yeah oh. we sure did yeah I went down to some farm south of St. Louis with a bunch of hippies, and uh, one of their dogs freaked out and bit me during the eclipse. Is that right? Yes. Animals kind of are wigged out by the whole thing. That's, gets, what, um, that's yeah. what we were speculating on earlier this morning. They get morning. bite crazy. And Tom poo-pooed us. No, the the uh, it, it, the temperature drops ten percent. Of yeah. course, it gets dark. The birds all land and stop chirping, yep. and uh, you'll hear crickets. Wow. wow. Yeah, but it doesn't get totally dark like nighttime. Greg. It gets real dark. No, it it's pretty doesn't. Dark. It's pretty dark. Mm. It gets like dawn or dusk. It doesn't get all dark. We'll see. Well, all I, dark, I, but dark. I can't remember. Dark. I'll take your word. Well, the for last it. one was a partial eclipse. Yeah. The one a few years ago. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least one... where maybe not where you were. I think you you got to see it in totality. Really? I don't. Know. Yeah, I was in. Uh, okay. I was. It, it went be. right through St. Louis. Yeah. Hmm. They say now I'm getting some conflicting research here, which I usually do. This one uh, article said it takes 375 years to see a solar eclipse in the same location. Wow. Hmm. But Jason told me that Carbondale, Illinois, uh, 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 had an eclipse in the last one and this one. So, so I don't know. Oh, okay. If that 375 years thing is true, I feel bad. There's probably some guy that was like, man, there's a lot of people at this eclipse. This is a business opportunity. I'm going to build <laughs> Joe's Eclipse Restaurant, and the next time it comes around, I'm going to make a killing. Yeah. <laughs> got, a, got a deck and everything. Right. Observation spot. Well, thank yeah. you, Greg. Are you on the road this week? Yeah. Uh, I hate to bring this up with Josh in the studio, but I'll be in Toledo, Ohio mm. oh. right, uh, at, at the Funny Bone. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Those will be some good shows. When are you starting? Thursday? Friday? What? Uh, Just a Friday, Saturday deal. Okay, good. Deal. Go see Greg Warren. Make He's sure you great. visit my uh, reflecting pool <laughs> that they installed there. <laughs> Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Josh at Toledo. It <laughs> was a rough night. Thank you, Greg. All bombings as well. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Let me you tell man. you about Raycon earbuds, guys. They're the everyday earbuds, and they're the perfect way to tune out all the noise around you and tune into something great like the Bob and Tom Show. Maybe mom wants to have a quiet day for Mother's Day coming up. Well, Raycon everyday earbuds are just the ticket. With the optimized gel tips, they're designed to fit comfortably in your ears and stay in place. And Raycons have additional features like earbud tap functions and noise isolation. They'd really make the best Mother's Day gift, and Raycon offers easy 30-day returns just in case. So, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 20% off your Raycon order. 
plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Don't forget for spring break, get, the, get those kids the full headphones because uh, they'll be quiet in the back seat as you make a nice, pleasant drive. They've got their headphones on, perhaps jamming to their favorite songs or videos. That's right. Tell them to uh, buy Raycon. Now, when we come back, we have a lot of exciting stuff in the news, including good dog, good dog. He just <laughs> dug up a bomb. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, Shakespeare in the news. Uh, he's not in Germany, but this does involve cannabis. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or... Summer is upon us and the sun is blistering. And all of my valuables that turn up missing. Can't find my lawn chair, can't find my radio, can't find the yard break, can't find the garden hose, can't find the cans to throw away the trash. Maybe I should cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Fescue growing up higher and higher. Guess I went a little crazy with the fertilizer. <laughs> can't find the barbecue, can't find the meat. Can't see the neighbor's house across the street. Couldn't find both hands if I use my ass. <laughs> Maybe I should cut the grass. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Should have got it earlier, but I'm allergic. Just too cheap to get a service. Ticket from the city for a violation. Neighbors think I'm dead or on a long vacation. <laughs> well, I got a new shiny riding mower. With a three-blade cutter and two cup holders. Where it's gone to is just bewildering. Went to ask my wife and children. Find her purse and keys, but they ain't come back. Maybe I should cut the grass. <laughs> oh. Got so quiet you can't hear the wind blow. And it's getting real shady around the upstairs windows. <laughs> <laughs> the dog just whimpers and won't go outside. And I sit up in my bed all night, listening to the lawn clawing at the glass. Maybe I should have cut the grass. <laughs> Maybe I should have cut the grass. Maybe I should have. Mm -hmm. All right. Very nice, Haywood. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. Ah! 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. <laughs> and the longest winning streak with road horns. <laughs> this has been great moments in NFL Woo! history. Wow. Wow. The essential morning radio all day and all night. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Greg Warren is our guest. What do you do on the road? We were talking to Mike about his activities in the road. Watch television a lot? You do, don't you? I uh, just got a DVD player. We rented The Fugitive the other day with Harrison Ford. Great <laughs> movie. Yeah. There's a little deleted scene in there where he's running from Tommy Lee Jones and he runs into Subway and orders a sandwich. All right, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I need a six-inch turkey sub on wheat with bacon, no mustard or mayonnaise, all right? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, lettuce, tomato, <laughs> green pepper. I didn't kill my wife. You Indian Jones. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I no, no, you Indian Jones, man. I seen you. Right. In the, I seen Indian I, Jones one, Indian right. Jones two, well, Indian Jones three. Then you right. didn't work for a long time. Well, actually. And then I did see you in a movie last year, Hollywood Homicide. Right. Yeah, that was. That wasn't that I good. <laughs> you should have well, done Indian Jones four. Well, we're we'll actually. You got to a whip too. On. You like. The whip man. Well, I, I don't you whip personally at? have you the whip? whip. It's in the Smithsonian Where Institute. You, right now. you look old too now, man. <laughs> you, you, All you... right, listen to me. I didn't come here to be talked to by some deranged fan. All right. Okay, man. <laughs> Indian Jones. All right, fine. Get your whip out, Jones. I got thrown out of J. C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> Believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. <laughs> and they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we are. There's Tom. Hello, Tom. Uh, hello, and, um... Learning a little bit about the eclipse from comedian Greg Warren on his way to Toledo's Funny Bone. And uh, he'll be there Friday and Saturday. This Friday night, we have a special Bob and Tom comedy show with uh, Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Willie G, uh, Jeff Oskey. I'll be your host along with Christy Lee. That's going to be the evening of April 5th. And uh, that morning, we have a, a special free show. We're going to be doing our radio show from the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center Theater. So uh, if you want to get tickets to that evening show, once again, uh, you can uh, grab those at Ticketmaster.com. Hope to see you in West Virginia. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a palate cleanse. We've been talking about celestial events. Uh, but um, it's uh, time now to come back to Earth with Ace Cosby. Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. Yesterday, I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was eating a chocolate egg. Really? I went up to him and said, I bet I know what your favorite ho holiday is. He said, Hop to love Easter, baby. That he, was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. He has to love Easter, baby, but he said it, of course, is Arnold. Oh, oh, wow. I have to love, love Easter, Easter, baby. Easter. Not sure the analysis helped, but uh, yes, I, that's a fine joke. Well, <laughs> there looked, there were confused faces. I, I, see, I see. Yeah. If that hadn't, he hadn't jumped in. I had no idea what was going on. Hot yeah. to love Easter. Baby. I heard hasta la vista. I didn't hear I love Easter. Hasta love Easter, yeah. baby. He's got an accent. Yeah, it's, uh, it's most. The analysis was his most. Oh, it's most, most, most I think Jess is still going over it in her brain here. Hang on. And he's got a pacemaker now. He does. I saw that. 
And a, and a baby uh, donkey, or a tiny donkey. Have you seen him with a tiny donkey? Uh, doesn't he eat breakfast with him? Yeah. yeah. The, the donkey lives in the house, Tom. Uh, yeah. He he, he puts a carrot in his mouth, and the donkey comes up and Is it a donkey or a little horse? Is it a little horse? I don't it's know. a donkey. Oh, I it's think a it donkey. might be a donkey. Okay. Is it uh, house trained? Oh, well, where's the diaper? Don't I, don't I don't know, know if it's house trained. Do they make donkey diapers? Sure, they'll make a diaper for anybody. <laughs> Probably just let it out like you would a dog. Oh, yeah, that's true. I know they make donkey D. <laughs> oh, no. They do? <laughs> I think they do. Uh, let's, uh, let's move on here. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Jess Hooker sitting in for Christy Lee at the Bob Tom News Desk. What's happening? To be stoned or not to be stoned, that is the question. A group of scholars are alleging that pipes with traces of cannabis have been found in William Shakespeare's garden in Stratford-upon-Avon. Oh. Researchers from the University of Witzwaterstrand contend that both cocoa leaves and marijuana were commonly smoked as tobacco during the Elizabethan times. Proponents of the idea that Shakespeare indulged in marijuana smoking have long pointed to Sonnet 76, where the bard writes about invitation in a noted weed. Invention in a noted weed. There you go. Yeah, I've never heard this argument. And what university? The Wits Watson? What, what? Wit Waterstron? I, Wit think that's, I think that's in South Africa, hmm. I think. Um, yeah, this has been floating around for a while, this uh, notion that Shakespeare... I. I think they say that about all the greats, that they were using something, right? Yeah, um, but I don't know. This seems to be pretty flimsy evidence that garden's been around for quite a long time, I imagine. Someone could have... Uh, planted it? Yeah. Well, it, w wouldn't he have changed the title? They, well, it would have been like the hempest. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Well, the pipe they found in the in the uh, uh, Stratford-upon-Avon did have a bicentennial America. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, logo on the yeah, side of right, it. Right, right. You'd uh, think that would have tipped them off. You'd think, you know, but uh, yeah. no, they said, no, this is doesn't. We're going to Romeo and Juliet go to White Castle. Definitive. <sighs> uh, the fabulous. <laughs> See, now I want White Castle. Boy, that's, mm. uh, that sounds like a... Yeah, bud by any other name would smell like weed, <laughs> bro. <laughs> When's the last time you, uh, like, in, in college, probably, I know, right? I know. It's Josh, been a while. Ever, been a while. You ever uh, roll up a doobie? Yeah, it has been a while. I, I, yeah? The last time, I think, was like a one-hitter, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. Or no, a bowl. It was a bowl. Yeah. 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 Those are different. I used to have a guy that worked here that, um, <laughs> I didn't understand this. He had these, um, he had a so-called one-hitter that looked just like a cigarette. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I you'd stand out in that back porch <laughs> and fire it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the, every one hitter I ever hit off was a cigarette. It looked looking, like a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. You had the fake filter in the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. In the wood box. Yeah. That's, you're, that's how I have. You're not really fooling anybody with that. No, look. not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess now the marijuana is really even just the the worst is and crazy potent. I guess. Yeah. So high. Yeah. It's been a couple of years because I was I was like I don't th I think this is passed me by. I yeah. can't hang yeah. anymore. But I, I just <laughs> I couldn't hang back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just find this somewhat bogus that oh Shakespeare smoked pot really. Why? Come Why? On. Yeah. It just says no. I don't. It doesn't ring true. No. You don't. Hey man, how come sonnets aren't four twenty lines? Get it? No. Mm. I don't. It, it, I just don't think it's happening. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. I think they're, I think they're, they're forcing this, frankly, hmm. to, but uh, to make him appear cooler, or uh, just to have explain anything. Explain is create. Just have anything to or? anything to write about. Hmm. All right. Do we know if cocoa leaves have a uh, a high effect? I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Or, or if it was a flavor, flavor? thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Have I it, don't know. Hasn't the price of cocoa gone? Is up it, doubled in the last is three it? months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I know. Uh, Seriously, I, the I'm poppy. <laughs> There's something going on there, right? Uh, sure. The poppy yeah, leaves, I mean that's yeah. been. Yeah, I'm serious. I think the cocoa is going. It's going to start affecting prices of all kinds of chocolate stuff, right? Oh wow. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I should start hoarding chocolate. Absolutely. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll find. I out saw William right. Devane pitching chocolate. Uh, <laughs> Is he, still, is he still driving that airplane? Gold is yesterday. It's chocolate. Not chocolate. 96% cacao. <laughs> or whatever they call it's it. Cacao. Cacao. Yes. What? Yeah, here we go. Cacao. Belgium's renowned chocolatiers grapple with soaring cocoa prices. Don't you see guys with swords and tunics when you hear chocolatiers? Yeah. <laughs> the three chocolatiers. Chocolatiers. Porthos. And the two um, others. <laughs> it's 
Cocoa futures are triple of what they were last year. Huh. Mm. So I should have I should have bought chocolate. Yeah. Do you dabble in futures at all? Uh, I've I've always oddly, I've always wanted to the sugar and pork. Yeah, you just kind of go. I think oranges are going to be. I'm currently I'm currently pork belly. Currently yeah. shorting a chick's future. <laughs> oh, oh, is that right? <laughs> because as we learned last week, I don't know if we shared this with Jess or not. Any uh, insurance actuary worth his salt would look at him and go, "What? What the hell are you doing still alive?" <laughs> yeah, like that. Right? Yeah. right. Got it. Okay, Got what's it. coming up, Jess? Um, robots in the news, bald eagles, and Pluto. Is it a is it a planet or a dog? Ah, uh, the debate continues, doesn't yeah. it? And there's a this robot story is really cool. This is why finally they're doing something really smart with robots. I, I think. don't yeah. think they are. This is frightening stuff, is what they're doing. No, you know, this is a story. Isn't. Wait, this isn't. wait till you hear about it. I think it's a great idea. Have you seen a picture of this robot? Yeah, you're gonna love it. It's uh, very cool. Has uh, it got uh, has it got uh, boobies and a butt? Yep. Oh. No, it doesn't. Uh, no. That's a lie. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. Through the glass. There we go. I hear I hear it right now. That is the uh, sound. Oh, yeah. The sound oh, of the yeah, band. Baby. Here come One, the mummies. Two, three. Dirty minds. Dirty minds. Dirty mind, dirty mind, sing a light. La 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 la. 
Wow. <laughs> Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. What happened was we took off from the South Bend Airport Hair Care and Tire Center there. <laughs> we got halfway here. We had to go back. It's like a 12-minute flight. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to go back. We had engine trouble. We lost some oil pressure in one of the engines, and they told us about it over the speaker system of the plane, mm -hmm. right, which was stupid because they could have just went, Hey, we lost some oil. They got to just little turn around and yelled at you. The guy sitting next to me is losing his mind. He, 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 goes, uh, he goes, hey, man, hey, man, if one of these engines fails, how far will the other one take us? And I was like, all the way to the scene of the crash. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that form. Oh. Ah, well, there's okay. photography. You know, people don't go, yeah, photography. Mm -hmm. People don't go to porn shops anymore. No? You know, because of the internet. Oh, that's true. But I think you miss out on the social aspect. <laughs> Is there a social aspect to that? Yeah, well, you avoid eye contact. Uh -huh. Try to hide your titles. <laughs> Tranny? Oh, no, I was working on my car. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, though, I was watching gay porn. Uh-oh. No, wait, I'm sorry. I was watching pro wrestling. <laughs> How are you listening to... Joe's coming to close. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we go. There's uh, Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Jigster. What's up, man? I don't know about that shirt. I don't know. Oh, it, you know what? Front. This is kind of my Eastery spring sort of what? colorful. Oh. It's, I, That's I've, autumn. I was going to say I, I wear it in the autumn and the spring. <laughs> it's it's got some yellows and greens and <laughs> orange. It's very autumn. Have you ever thought? Oh, of I, the, I think it's um, also spring. Yeah. How about the Hawaiian shirt thing? You ever thought of that? No. You know, there's something that, there's something about a chubby guy in a Hawaiian shirt that, yeah. like, it's like, oh, he also identifies as a chubby guy. Oh, okay. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> kind of a Wolfman Jack thing. Hmm. I think he... The Wolfman. I think he kind of, he kind of, kind of had that rocking. Um, Ace uh, Cosby's here. I'm Chick. Here's Tom. Uh, coming up tomorrow, comedian Frank Caliendo in the studio. Also, we're going to do a, a little bit of a uh, Zoom call with... Comedian Etta May. We haven't talked with Etta in quite some time. She's great. So look forward to that, certainly. Right now, we head over that way, where uh, Ms. Hooker, that's her real name. It is. Dear Bob and Tom, that's really funny <laughs> that you know. Oh, God. Hooker is your name. It is. Your maiden name, of course, prostitute. Okay. It sorry. was actually very close to prostitute. Did you know that, that my maiden name is Prosser? And that kids called me Jesse Prostitute when we were growing up. Prostitute. <laughs>
kids are great, aren't they? They are. Kids, let's not ever, the, the point of this story is kids are great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no Lord of the Flies thing going on there. No. Uh, a robot disguised as a coyote will be employed at an Alaskan airport to ward off wildlife. Now, before you, this is a really great idea. It's a coyote in disguise. No, it's a robot. A robot disguised as a coyote. Okay. I don't like this. Now, first of all, I, I, if you've seen a picture of it, it really looks, it looks like oh, just like a giant bug. Yeah. It doesn't look like a coyote. So that's the thing. The Anchorage Daily News reports that the Alaska Department of Transportation is using the headless robot Ugh. dubbed Aurora at the Fairbanks Airport to enhance and augment safety and operations. By imitating predator-like movements. Ah, okay. okay. Aurora will keep uh, migratory birds and other animals from settling near plane infields. Oh, to protect them. So yes. this is, in effect, a, a three-dimensional moving scarecrow. Right. The idea right. is because, obviously, these we've had, of course, the famous landing in the Hudson due to mm -hmm. birds in the air near an airport. Mm -hmm. and it, 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 forgive me for a second. It, have you seen the picture? Yeah. It, it looks like a gigantic cricket. Yes. It doesn't look like a coyote, but I guess the way they're going to program it to move is like a coyote. Yes, it's it like like Tom said, like a, think of a scarecrow, it moves just enough to keep the birds away. Right. Right? Yeah. Uh, officials hope the robot will help prevent harmful encounters between planes and wildlife. If the trial proves to be successful, the agency may send similar robots to smaller airports in the state. It's mm. a great idea. Yeah. Here you go, Josh. Come here and look at this thing. No, I'm good. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a grasshopper. Kind okay. of, and it, I can't tell from this photograph how big it is. So have you seen those? We have them in our school parking lots and in, in, in our corporation. And it's like on a on a giant, um, I don't know. Do you know? remember those things on the playground that bounce back and forth on the spring? Yeah. So oh, they, yeah. They be shaped like a horse sometimes. Horses, or yeah. A, yeah. yeah right. So we have those, but, but we have coyotes. They, they are cut out coyotes that are on those springs to keep the geese away. <laughs> and they, they work? Uh, no. Ah. No, they don't. They, oh. The geese will, because the geese will come in and lay eggs and then they'll attack kids oh. as they're running into school. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, now this article is a different one. This says they can disguise the robot to look like a coyote or a fox by changing the replaceable panels. Oh, okay. So the picture I have must be before they've put the panels on it. Oh, because it's headless and it and the legs bend backwards like a grasshopper. So it's like a a robot paper doll. Um, <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> yes, this thing's. I mean, it's really scary looking. Hmm. It's not, not like a, like a Roomba or like a like a, like a big yeah. frisbee hovering around. This thing looks like it's a. How big is it? Does it say? Yeah, I can't tell. There's a no. picture of it, but I can't. There's no. There's no scale. Size. Okay. Have you seen the owls that they have at like the hardware stores? Yeah. With the with the heads that move, and you just put them out and to scare whatever. And the wind kind of just makes. Yeah, they're and, like a bobblehead. Yeah, and the the head makes. They the, keep the snakes away, right? The wind and makes other birds. The owls like move. if you have birds yeah. crapping on your deck or all the right. time, you can yeah. put an owl out there. See, because a bird's stupid and they think that that's a real <laughs> owl because they see its head moving, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't like those. You don't they like they the fool owl? me too. Oh, yeah. I look at them and I go, that's oh, scary. I'm about to get my invitation to Hogwarts. <laughs> and then they go, oh. <laughs> I'm just a muggle. Ah, 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 very mm. good. <laughs> Uh, let's keep with the bird theme. Wildlife officials in Wisconsin say they rescued a pair of bald eagles that had been found entangled together. <laughs> Ta tangled together? Well, you know yeah. what they were doing if they were tangled together. Holding hands? Well, oh, maybe a little, a little past holding hands. Yeah, so maybe a home plate. Mm -mm. <laughs> the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources said a warden responded to the call and found the two birds with their talons locked together. Yep. Officials explain that the eagles may have been engaging in talon grappling, a normal behavior that usually takes place during courtship. Ah, chick, there, there you go. go. Talon they grappling. They were flirted up. It's like playing footsie. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Wow. The they were on their way to, uh, you know, the old in out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they call it. Uh, You're uh, damn right, Tom. Yeah, reverse crow girl. Oh. oh okay. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah. Okay. The warden you know, I've heard once you go crow. <laughs> you that, you'll never go. <laughs> Quoth the raven. <laughs> Give me more. 
the warden was able to carefully remove a stick that the birds had clutched between their talons and successfully disconnected the pair. Ah. The agency said the eagles flew away safely. Can you imagine? That's got to be a scary job. Right? Separating tangled <laughs> eagles. <laughs> well, yeah, luckily they're nice and calm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a photograph of it. Yikes. Yeah. How did this guy get up there? He's in the tree? No, no, no. I mean, to get close to them, excuse me. The, the, oh. it, uh, you, wow, they are... Oh. And they look so serious. Yeah. Oh, they're very serious. Yeah, Sam the Eagle. Always I mean, they, but that Sam the Eagle, it's, look at it's dead <laughs> on. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of weirdos. <laughs> yeah, yes, he couldn't I believe. love Sam the Eagle. <laughs> He's so funny. Do bald eagles come in different sizes, or are they all huge? Like, they all just seem um, very big, right? Well, the little baby like, ones are small. Well, yes. But, like, their wingspan, like, this is big as <laughs> yeah. me, right? Yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're about as gigantic. Young. There's a nest right Did near you, here. I'm eagle-sized. Have you seen one? Did you see? There's a nest right near here. Yeah, no, I've seen, and the camera, I've seen, I, but, yeah, I can't really tell how big they are, you know? There was a picture of an eagle that somebody uses as a mascot that flies around a stadium. Oh, cool. And the, the eagle had to be on an airplane and there's an airline that that accommodates the eagle but then when it gets to where it's uh its destination it has a special hotel room where the eagle they put down plastic at visqueen and the eagle is on a perch and they turn the tv on for the eagle well, no kidding and he's just sitting there waiting to go you know perform or whatever he has to go do who do you oh. think he watches i i don't know i would i would think um, probably well, Wild Kingdom. What do they eat? What, what do they eat? Uh, mice, mice, mice? Uh, yeah, small mice. poodles and Stuart Little. They put that on. Uh, oh, I bet oh, they, they do. Like they love it. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh boy, that guy's oh, this well, was, making me hungry. Why's my food I'm, driving a little car? Oh, I was oh, trying boy. to. I was trying to find this. <laughs> this thing about the eagle, and of course, there's one that's flown into a blimp. <gasps> Oh, of course there is. But uh, yeah, here you go, bald eagle in the TSA. The, TSA ball, line, yeah. Ball, bald eagle in TSA line at Charlotte Airport. That's got to be the funniest picture in it the is. history of I've the world. It is. I've seen it now. Yeah. Yep. That is really funny. It's not that funny. It's actually kind of a bummer when they take away his shampoo. It's uh, yeah, too much of it. You see. TSA tends to take away fluids if there's too many. Oh, 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 oh. Were you all just shopping for a second? I thought there was more. I mean, I know it wasn't brilliant. <laughs> no, the thing but is. It, my words at least deserve some sort of you're acknowledgement. Su you're no, suggesting no, no. That, that eagles have dirty hair Here's, and they need to shampoo oh, They're balding. It's like uh, Oh, although even better. There were seven jokes there, guys. <laughs> I, uh, and you None of them landed. No, you the couldn't take is, one of them? You didn't stick the landing, my friend. <laughs> we, heard you, we heard you say... Uh, TSA, and we, we thought you were going off on your airline hunk, and uh, how oh, how, how certainly how rude they are! Is. Look, you're you're no, no, much that's smaller than the eagle. That's perspective, obviously. Huh? Yes, the, the eagle. <laughs> I don't think it yes, is. Yes, no, no, it is. Yes, the eagle yeah. is, no. is closer to the camera than her. That's so yeah, funny that's though. The, the handler, so the eagle looks bigger than that. That eagle's eight feet tall. What if eagles were that big? <laughs> I know. Wouldn't we just be scared? Oh. We'd be their prey. Oh, 100%. oh yeah. They they'd enjoy chasing us. <laughs> Here's one where you can see how the the size of the actual yeah. and the guy has that glove on the actual oh you want that glove yeah It'll oh you gotta right. have the glove Rip you don't right want to get scratched <laughs> no. no it's not a matter of, uh, a guy that i know had the, the the talon went through his hand while handling Ooh. Ooh. Oh. yeah remember that story he was Gosh. yeah was, yeah that's just what it was a story did no. you have the eagle come to your school i that around? was always my favorite uh, yeah. assembly yeah we had the bird guys come and yeah. they would have falcons fly over us yeah. and eagles and Owls. Awesome. Yeah. I love. I'd go to one today. I would too. <laughs> I love that stuff. Do you remember when uh, I wanted to own an eagle and call it Don Henley? Remember that? Yeah. 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 yeah it never happened. Hey, hey. Tom wouldn't let me own Plenty an eagle. Of time left. I'd have to keep it here. That's fine. I don't have think it sit over there in the corner behind yeah, the The HOA doesn't allow. Uh, eagles. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Good. Good to know. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what's coming up in the news? Uh, Arizona has picked a planet. A planet? A planet. They a planet. A, yes, they have what? an official I'd, state planet. I'd go with Earth, <laughs> my first choice. Um, a dog digs up a uh, old explosive. Oh. Yeah. Although Arizona is probably most like Mars, right? I would You'd think. think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pluto's like a, chilly, right? Like a desert? Yeah. And, yeah. Very, very. And there's a marshmallow drop happened yesterday to celebrate Easter. Marshmallow drop. Okay, yeah. cool. All yeah. uh, right now, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help. And uh, it can be easy to ignore our uh, uh, social battery and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up 
lately. So it's time to uh, maybe uh, recharge yourself. That's where therapy comes in. And uh, BetterHelp has found a better way to access therapy. More than 35,000 licensed therapists are now participating in this program. The way it works is do a little quiz. Uh, and uh, it'll match you up with a licensed therapist. The therapy itself then is done online, as is that uh, little questionnaire. And then, uh, by the way, you can uh, switch therapists anytime, no charge. And then uh, the idea is the therapy is done online, so it's in just so much more convenient. You don't have to get in your car and drive to somebody's office, et cetera, et cetera. You can do it wherever you are, whatever you want. So you get it hooked up so it fits your schedule with BetterHelp. If you're thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Once again, entirely online and flexible for your schedule. So find out all the information by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month. So find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. And uh, you find them, of course, by going to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp dot com slash bt show and the bob and tom show is sponsored by better help find out what works for you by uh, working on your self-awareness and help build your social life so you get a life that's actually working for you once again betterhelp.com slash bt show and uh, once again coming up um, what happens when your doggy digs up ordinance yikes this is the bob and tom show Occasionally, I will I will sing in my stand-up act if I'm talking about a particular band thing. Like right now, I have you know I, I kind of talk about the fact that uh, you know Grunt uh, STP is getting back together. You know Scott Weiland. Yeah, for sure. So I kind of do a, a mild dancing impersonation of him to prove that you know you could you have to be on heroin to dance like that. And and mm-hmm. uh, and the fact that he's actually our generation's Keith Richards. If you've noticed, yeah, he nothing will kill him. He's getting yeah. he'd been kicked out of two bands because they thought he was going to die, and then yeah. he didn't die. Right. He didn't die. He's still alive. And I hear him. I hear him. And they're like, hey, okay, whatever. Well, let's record another album who cares um i like their music so. yeah absolutely and i think we can all agree that uh, that grunge is the one good thing that aids gave us mm. i think you can pretty much argue that <laughs> <laughs> you know mm-hmm. really, nothing explains the biggest left turn in the history of music like aids <laughs> because it literally was like one week we were like don't want nothing but a good time aids i seem to recognize some <laughs> AIDS me. <laughs> you tell a generation of 13 year olds that sex equals death, you're going to have them going, I deny you. <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you.
Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is Bob and Tom, 24-7. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kostucky. What other states do we have left? Uh, Washington. Say wa. Now, that works because it's that's the Washington. abbreviation, right? Yes, Washington, w-a. say wa. Say wa. It's kind of interesting. You can't do is that it... in Kentucky. Say K-Y. That doesn't No. Oh. Wait, a... <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it say wa with a question mark, like say what? Yes. yes say wa. Oh, so yes. it's say wa. Say wa. That is awful. I'll bet there are a lot. Fire <laughs> well, the ad no, agency. No, it's say wa. Like, I'll bet there's a lot W-A. of people adding Washington. D's on those things. <laughs> say wa. <wad. laughs> Just say wa. <laughs> that is just awful. Oh, my God. What a horrible slogan. <laughs> we got some state birds, and the birds are cool because they sort of, you know, they're relevant to the state. Like, Arizona has the cactus wren. Louisiana has the pelican. Uh, Minnesota, this is true. Their state bird is the common loon, which I believe they elected governor at one point. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes. State nicknames. Uh-huh. Tennessee, the volunteer state. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Oregon, the beaver state. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Arkansas, the natural state, they which are. I guess makes California the surgically enhanced state. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas is the, the silicone na- state. The natural state. Uh-huh. Oh All right, my. big closer here. Yeah. So here's my question. If I go from Tennessee to Missouri to Oregon, can I call it the volunteer to show me your beaver tour? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. And I'll open for you. Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. Um, I actually had to do that once. What? Be a pallbearer. And then, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy, heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pallbearer, and I, uh, always a pallbearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> Hi, this is Rodney Carrington. Uh, app. Oh. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I'm in the room and I don't know what we're doing. So there is a Jess is here and uh, Artie and Steve and <laughs> a friend of a Josh friend of, and Ace uh, and a friend of mine who is a meteorologist. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Years ago, recommended a weather app called called, called Dark Skies. Dark Skies, yeah, which was the greatest weather app ever. Yeah, and then that was it was purchased by uh, Apple, the computer people, right? And they absorbed it. And uh, yes. I, have, I have since switched to a, a weather app. Called Carrot. Is it uh, tradi- C A R A T? Um, because or, I used to. Or it's like jewelry, K A R A T. It's with a C. By. Is it with the A's or the O and the T like Bugs? Bugs Bunny. Oh my God. It's C A R R O T. Oh, all right. There you go. C A R O T. The larger point, it's a very nice app. I'm getting the best deals on produce right now. I don't know what Okay, well, that's fine. I. I'm not sure why it's called Carrot, but it's a very good app if you're... Carrot, aware. shop, save. Yeah, I was... Weather, here we go. <laughs> All right. This is, you can do this off the air, but... Nope, nope, I'm doing it right now. Okay, on the, uh, uh, just to install. Uh, okay. uh, Jess Hooker is here with us, uh, Jess. Uh, Arizona has named Pluto its state planet. Arizona, wanna bone ya. Okay. <laughs> is, is that their state song? Yep. Oh, okay. Arizona. Do, uh... Other states have an official state planet? I, I don't think so. I've never heard this before. Yeah. They're, they're Ohio. Last, last I checked, there are 50 states. And how many planets are there? Well, 10, they, 12? We, what is we it? have to share, but Ohio's uh, Uranus. No, it's not. Is that oh, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought that would have been New Jersey. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Governor Katie Hobbs signed legislation last week designating Pluto as Arizona's official state planet. Chick, do you like the joke, uh, yeah, I was dating this girl, and she said... <laughs> Hey, she said to me, hey, we, I want you to kiss me where it stinks. <gasps> so I took her to, to Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah, oh. I love it. Drove, drove, love drove her to New Jersey. What woman yep. <laughs> would say, <laughs> would talk like kiss that? Kiss me where it stinks. <laughs> oh, my God. That setup is so false. We should, Tom, we've been talking about this forever. We need to take one show a month and go over all the dirtiest punchlines <laughs> we can. Kiss me where it stinks. <laughs> so what your classic. Your, so I'm sorry. Your contention is, in the realm of jokes, you're saying, well, a woman would never say that. Yeah, a horse wouldn't walk into a bar either. Right. Uh, yeah, but I, you know what? I know a horse is a, would sooner walk into a bar.
more than a woman would say, I want you to kiss me where it sticks. You realize we're going to get a letter from some guy going, well, you know, when I uh, was dating this woman, all of a sudden one night she goes, hey, would you kiss me where it stinks? Well, then you're, then you're I mean, dating Alan King, sir. Because that, that would, Alan King! That wow. Would the old joke meister Alan King himself. Would you would you would you guys just erupt with laughter? Or yeah, would, absolutely. Or would you leave, or would or would you do it? I would kiss the word stink. Yeah, I'd <laughs> laugh yeah, and I'd go. You know what? You, yeah, you, you, uh, you earned. It. For those of you oh, not yeah. for those of you not familiar with E. coli, <laughs> um, I, I would repair to other quarters. But and, I mean, uh, <laughs> however, um, goodness, what would you do? Uh, you would not do this. You're you. I can't see these you. lips. Don't touch anal tissue. <laughs> oh, you think you think she's talking about she, kiss my ass? That's what I assume. Oh, she's she's talking the front. No. Oh, so now yeah. she's implying that she has a that terrible she, vaginal odor. That's right. So no, not no, now. The, the setup is even less believable. <laughs> exactly. No, you. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good joke. If you want to tell it again, the joke is a uh, woman said to me, kiss me where it stinks. So, so I got in a car and drove her to New Jersey. Yeah, I yeah. Drove her to New okay. Jersey. Yeah, the implication that <laughs> New Jersey has a bad odor in certain parts. And New Jersey is also beautiful. I of course. I recommend I... Basking Ridge, a lovely spot. According but to... I... Oh, so, sorry. I'm sorry. So, this news story says that, what is it, Arizona is now, what? They decide, Arizona has uh, uh, signed legislation to make Pluto their state planet, according to Tucson.com. Isn't Pluto, the only planet discovered by a scientist in the U.S., which right. was identified by astronomer oh. Clyde Tombaugh in 1930 in Flagstaff. So this kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah, that does make Clyde sense. Clyde the Glide. Yeah. <laughs> they called him. I thought Pluto was no longer a planet. Well, the legislation was not without controversy. Some senators voted against the measure because, scientifically, Pluto is not a planet but a dwarf planet. Can you say dwarf anymore? Yeah, that's the preferred, yeah. Dwarf planet. You can't say midget planet. Well, don't okay. say midget yeah. planet. Can you say little planet? Isn't that the preferred? Uh, little, yes, you can. Cute. You can say cute planet, I think. Uh, Pluto okay. was demoted in 2006 when the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet. Boy, that's a fun organization, <laughs> I bet. Yeah. The International As Astro Astro Yeah. Nerds. Okay. Yeah. Nerds and they had all the hookers from the Geneva Convention. Nerds. We're talking about <laughs> talking about a bunch of dull broads. <laughs> the Geneva Convention, Joe. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Um, Arizona. Uh, they, they, have a, bone you. they have a, an official <laughs> fossil, petrified wood. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Isn't that where the painted desert, or the uh, petrified okay, forest the, is? Uh, what's the official neckwear of Arizona? Turquoise. A cravat. Mm, the bola tie. Oh, oh yeah. I, I mean, bet a, it is. No, it's a bolo. A bola tie will oh, make your organs liquefy. This must be... <laughs> <laughs> This must be a misprint. Bolo tie. There's an official drink. Lemonade is the official. Okay, oh, but that is what delicious. other states have these things? They do they all do it? I guess. Yeah. They have a lot of dumb ones, but well, I know about this, like a state flower and a state they, bird. You think they might have other things? What do you like a, in Arizona to deal with in the legislation? We have a state pie. What's uh, sugar cream pie? Oh, you sure? Yeah, that's here. Give me that sugar cream I've pie. I've lived here 40 years, and I haven't had a sugar cream pie yet. And everybody really? keeps telling me I should try it. I can make one. It's it's supposed to be like uh, the gooey pie, I guess. A little bit. Gooey butter cake? Yes. Gooey butter cake. Remember butter. that old joke, uh, hey, why don't you kiss me on the sugar <laughs> cream pie? Oh, yeah. So I drove her to... No, I remember the old, uh, why don't you kiss me on the gooey butter cake? I remember <laughs> oh, that. Oh, sure, yeah. So yeah, I took yeah. her to St. Louis? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, uh, St. Louis. Went over to Sajay. Parked oh, in the, so the strippers' the, parking lot, and it doesn't. I doesn't say here how many other states have an official planet. No. Mm. Uh, the official do. drink of Ohio, tomato juice. Really? That yeah. makes sense. Why? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. He drinks tomato juice. He's from Ohio. I'm from, I like tomato juice only on airplanes, though, and I found out that a lot of people are like that. Yeah. A lot of people just drink tomato juice on airplanes. You have a, do you have a plane place drink? drink? You have a yeah. You have do, a plane. You drink? have a plane drink. No. It's not like Bloody Mary or something no, like that? No, no, no. I don't drink any. I, I prefer, yeah. I prefer not ale. having any fluids on an airplane. No fluids on the airplane? Nope. Uh -uh. Is, Is that because right? you don't want to get up to pee? You don't have to get up to pee. Oh, I hate going in an airplane bathroom. Me too. Ugh. 
gross. Yeah. You've read to uh, you've read the number two in an airplane. I know. I I will hold it till I die before I yeah. would do that. Wow. I feel the yeah. same way. <laughs> <laughs> you no know, way. you guys know the flag of Ohio is actually technically a pennant. It's not not rectangular. No, it's not. Uh, it's not. Absolutely not. I didn't know that. That's well, a cool weird. flag. That is cool. Yeah, it's always been. A you ever seen the flag for Uranus? <laughs> It's the flag holder. It's the bitch. Plug shaped, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's state flowers, the red, <laughs> the red carnation. The state birds, the cardinal. State tree. This is an easy one. Cactus. Oh, buckeye. Oh, God, buckeye. Oh, this is Ohio. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, um, the state motto with Tom. All things are possible. Isn't that oh, thank something? You. That's great. Wow. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, hmm. Wow. Right. Uh, it looks like almost every state has a state food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ours uh, here, tenderloin. Any, right? Are any of them healthy? No. What's the, where's the fun list? in that? No, I'm just saying. Oh, this is weird. Ohio has a state rock song. What Hang is? on, Sloopy. Oh. Oh. Rick Derringer. Rick Derringer? Is he from there? Um, yeah, Rick Derringer's from he was Yellow from Springs. Isn't he, he did Hang on Sloopy? Uh, recorded by the... <laughs> I thought it was way old. Recorded by the McCoys, a band from Dayton. Oh. And he was on... Uh, I think he was in the McCoys at the time. Um. Oh, that's right. He was kind of a wonderkind, wasn't he? He was like 14 when he was... Nice guy. Had him on. My favorite Rick Derringer song, Ace... I Rock and roll, who you know? Real American. Oh, really? Fight for your rights <laughs> of every man. Boy, oh boy. American boy. All American boy. That's right. I, I, I'm looking over all these state foods. Almost none of them are even slightly healthy. Well, they shouldn't be. They should be fun. The state fruit? <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy one. <laughs> Chick McGee? Chick. Right! No, it's the pawpaw. Oh, they pawpaw sing about that. Pawpaw patch and put them in a pawpaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, state amphibian, the spotted salamander. I think we all knew that. Oh, though. Tom, it's that Washington, D.C., the state, uh, the uh, food for the District of Columbia. Yeah. Pork. <laughs> uh, oh, very good, very good. You can see me. Okay, what else is happening Hello. in the news? Let's go. Yeah. A man from Florida <laughs> says his dog uncovered an exploded military weapon after digging in his backyard. Matthew Sims of Jacksonville told WJAX TV. Jacks. Jacks. Balls and jacks. <laughs> Yeah, their 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 sign off was always embarrassing. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> Jack's off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Matthew Sims told them that he was in his backyard playing with his. Oh, no, you read the first line. It's an unexploded. Unexploded. Did I say exploded? Of, yeah. Oh, sorry. Unexploded it's bit of unexploded. ordinance. Unexploded. All right. Uh, he was in the back in the backyard with his dog, Baby, oh. when he went to investigate her find. What do you got there, Baby? <laughs> what do you got? Oh, my God! <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell! Potato masher. <laughs> so, again, I didn't know the Germans got this close. Oh, hold mm. still, Baby. It's okay. Why would there be <laughs> when he munitions and buried in Florida in the wow. backyard? I don't know. When he but picked up the rusted object, he quickly realized it was a military ordinance. Hmm. Sim hmm. said that he was uh, it was about a foot long weighed around 10 pounds, and had likely been buried for some time. So is it like a landmine? Responding authorities evacuated the surrounding area before removing the munition and disposing of it. Yikes. Um, I had a dog uh, dig up a bomb in my backyard. It was a copy of Madam Web. Ooh. <laughs> that was a, a, That's real, a bad movie. real bomb, you see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I've stepped in dog bombs in my backyard. <laughs> They're of a different nature, you see. They don't explode. Should they... I not try to watch that? Isn't I don't. <laughs> I just know it didn't fare well at the box Is office. Aubrey Plaza in that, I want to say. Oh, she's, I love her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she always Sydney looks... Sydney Sweeney, I believe. She always looks uninterested in it. Maybe it is Sydney Sweeney. I don't <laughs> know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Anywho, not to... <laughs> who? <laughs> who? That's Ishtar. scary. Ishtar. <laughs> Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Have your dogs ever brought you anything strange, like... Sure. No, just don't like a uh, monkey had a squirrel in her mouth one time and Ooh. and it was it had recently died. Oh. And uh she was never happier than she was standing at the back door with that squirrel. Dad, in her dad, mouth. dad, I want you to have this. This yeah. oh is God. for you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm screaming and crying. Get that thing out! Oh my god! And she looks at the other dog, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I never seen him carry. Look at this. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, that was it.
Wow. Mm. You, Jess, like a live snake or uh Um, no, our cat has brought us brought us a live snake mm. um and birds and chipmunks this and all is those for things. The family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just leaves them at the front door. Enjoy. Yeah, it is a gift. <laughs> but never a bomb. So would would this uh, ordinance have been from a military exercise of the United States military? Or I wonder if there's a base nearby or something. Yeah, be, I don't know. The Cubans, did they get that close? Yeah, I don't know. Or do you think it was something that uh, maybe uh, oh, like a veteran a, brought home? Oh, like a maybe. collector. Hey, okay. look, I don't know how to get rid of this. Let's just bury it. Yeah. yeah. Just throw it out in the back here. I'm not sure this thing's it. live. I don't know if we need okay. this. Okay, all right. Yeah. I don't um, know if we need this. <laughs> uh, children in de- uh, children in Detroit area park were treated with a deluge of marshmallows hmm. dropped from a helicopter. Hmm. Uh, the annual Great Marshmallow Drop took place in the county park in Southfield over the weekend. Once the helicopter reached its drop zone, a passenger dumped marshmallows out of a sack and onto the grass below. There you go, kids. Where children darted to collect them. <laughs> <laughs> they they okay. landed on recently <laughs> sprayed grass. Uh, yeah, I mean, who's eating ground marshmallows? Hold on, hold on. What? They were then able Five to, second rule. They were able to exchange the marshmallows they collected for a prize bag containing candy, a coloring book. But you milk, know, you know. And a one day pass. Oh, they absolutely ate them. Oh, one day pass at a water park. That's nice. Huh. Yeah. Uh, the helicopter made four passes, dropping marshmallows aimed at kids in three age categories, four years old and younger, five to seven years old, and those eight to 12 years old. Are you going to a water park in Detroit? <laughs> I don't know that I am. Now, Flint. I might, I might, I might, I might feign sickness. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. I mean, this is this is an annual thing. They, they, it's much better than one they used to do with live rabbits. Oh. Uh, oh, so, yeah. yeah that's very uh, WKRP-ish. Um <clears throat> Oh, I had I we we celebrated our annual Easter story, much like Tom or Chick's uh, kitten in the tree Christmas story. Right. My dad bought my sister's baby chicks mm. for Easter one year, and um, and how old were you, were you guys? Uh, they were four, so I was like, there's a big age gap. So I yeah. was like 17, 18 years old, <laughs> and uh, I bet they loved them. They did. They loved them so much that uh, they gave them a bath. Yeah, and uh, in in the baby pool, and they just kind of submerged them a little bit, a little too long, and then a they too long. and then uh, they stood at the top of the slide uh, yeah. in the backyard and launched them into into the air to see if they could fly. Ah, needless to say, my dad took them behind the barn, lifeless with bodies. a shovel, and All that right. was the last time we happy, had chicks. Happy, Easter. happy. About Easter. how many chicks were there? Uh, there were four. Four, yeah. Four. Killed, killed them all. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody have any peeps over the weekend? I, I, I don't care for peeps. I, do, I have to have a peep. Yeah, okay. I had a peep. A hard line no. A yellow peep. Peeps. Yeah. All right. My no, mom always no brings peeps. me peeps. Yeah. Hmm. No. no, sorry. No, no, you don't, uh, yeah. Any sort of sugary snack like that. No, no, but I mean, I, I, the, I, normal, the girls were out of town, so I didn't oh. do my usual egg thing and... Reese cup eggs. Did you do anything for yourself yesterday other than cleaning our office? He had sushi. Did you have sushi? Had my annual Easter sushi dinner. Oh. <laughs> no, my, my the girls were gone, so we didn't do the usual egg stuff. And no, I came here and got some work done. Cleaned my office. It was great. Is Nobody there anything around. better than uh, anything better than a deviled egg? No. Oh, man. Real tasty, oh, man. I love those. Do we have deviled eggs? Uh, where, where are you making food this week? Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday? Sure. All three days? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every day. Deviled egg every day. Uh, no. Keeps um, the doctor away. Uh, I'll remind you that coming up, this show will come to you from West Virginia, Charleston, West Virginia, Friday morning, and a, a, a special evening show with Patty G., Willie G., Josh, Jeff Oskey, uh, Christy and I'll be your hosts. That'll be at the theater at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. Yep. Hope to see you there. Special morning show, special evening comedy show. It'll be fun. Doing some stand-up on stage. And if you stand for a living like I do when I'm telling my jokes, I'm not... <laughs> <clears throat> Is that, oh, okay, the jokes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a very sloppy segue check. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, please don't look for No, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> I'm Orangeinsouls.com can help you if you're putting stress on your body uh, all day long. You know what I mean? You're standing there. Your body can't... Uh... Hang on. Footy, footy, hang on. Footy. No. Tom, your thoughts on hang on footy. <laughs> 
no. <laughs> All right. Anywho, uh, orangeinsouls.com. If, if you're, you're going to do a song, it would have to be orange insoles, orange insoles, keeping my feet straight. Well, you know what they uh, they play there at the Orange uh, Insoles factory? Soul music. No, because they're in your shoes. They're That's like exactly right. S-O-L-E music. That's right. I'm getting a text from them. <laughs> Shut up and read it. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Orange insoles offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and therefore your entire body. They really help alleviate that discomfort and pain way Way better support than those thin liners that came with your shoes. They're great for all kinds of footwear, work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, even golf shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you when you go to orangeinsoles.com. Take that insole quiz they have. Answer a few questions. They'll get you hooked up with the exact size and shape of insole you require. Go there now, orangeinsoles.com. They've got free shipping, plus Orange Insoles come with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee, so there's nothing to lose except for that discomfort. No cutting required. They come true to size. That's orangeinsoles.com. They may just be exactly what you need. Feel better. Do more with Orange Insoles. Thank you very much. And that uh, Chick McGee uh, final four pick will be coming up later this week. That's right. Brought to you by Orange Insoles. Coming up Friday, baby. All right, then. We certainly look forward to that. Coming up, a little bit of history for you. It's very important. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or... See, that's Bob. I'm Tom. Uh, Chick McGee's over there at the uh, Harumph. Quality Drivers Sports Desk. <laughs> Christy Lee, Harumph. future truck Harumph driver. You. That's uh, me, baby. I'm going to uh, be driving the big rigs. We're going to get uh, Christy over to Quality Drivers and learn how to uh, drive the big rigs. Mm -hmm. uh, comedian Justin Willman has joined us in the studio. Hello. You may have seen him uh, on Ellen. You may have been at the White House when he was there. It's amazing. <laughs> he's, he's here in the studio. I was being dragged out of the White House when he was there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> were you wearing a I cape? I wasn't supposed to be there. It was, it, I was it not. Was, Did you ever buy a cape? Halloween. You ever had? I got to have a cape. Oh man, you know, Come I on. No, no cape. How it's about a little top? on the nose for me. Like top hat? A top hat. I do own some top hats, okay. but I yeah, I'm try, you know, trying to help shed magic that. Wand? Do you have a shed magic that wand? image. Magic I, wand? I don't have a magic wand. The tuxedo and the cape is traditional. Those are uh, those are the classic. I thought they required a yeah. uh, magician for a musician. Magician. I, I and, uh, that and, too. and a musician <laughs> as well. But I did I had that face. We were talking about Lance Burton off the air. I had that Lance Burton face where mm -hmm. I would put that tuxedo on and Ah. Make doves appear, but there's something about like when you're 14 and owning a tuxedo that is that just doesn't and seem you, right. You have to take care of the doves too. And the doves, yeah. 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 A lot of work when they you're 14. You know what doves eat? Uh, dove chow. Dove chow. Dove chow. Purina dove chow. Purina dove chow. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure they make it. Uh, now you um, were a longtime host on television of uh, Cupcake Wars. Cupcake which Wars, which is now on Netflix. It is. Uh, is it, it is. The war rages on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine right. years of production on the Food Network. Nine Jeez. years. Wow. That might be America's longest war. But you're a very slender man, so you, you, you never you never ate a cupcake. Diabetes apparently. won the war, sadly, in the end. Now oh, uh, it's my understanding we're going to try to do another magic trick on the radio. That is your understanding right. is correct. Since we don't know what you're going to do. Is this the, the kind we can what do? We play this by is. Play, I thought this would be interesting play. for the listeners i have this is a, a a lucky die i have i'll show and we're filming this so if they yeah. wanted to watch okay. it later on this is a pretty big die could, yeah. one paradise. through six do you want to hand that to, to uh, bob down there to me oh all right let uh, me tell you hmm, there's some, something strange shit. about this does die. that feel weird Jake? <laughs> no no not at all actually uh, no. this feels like a regular uh, die yeah. so bob think of a number from one to six don't say it but turn it so that number is up and then put your hand on the die Okay. And tell me when you got a, a number that you like my hand, locked in there. My hand is on the die. Hands on the die, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's 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 a number from one to six. I want you just to say one, two, three, four, five, six, monotone. And then we'll see if I can pick it up in your voice. Maybe the listeners will hear it as well. Just a, a little, a tell, if you will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was subtle. Mm. It was subtle. You know, I'm going to say... Because, I mean, that was funny, but I think the number you sped through was two. I think it was two. Is it two? It's two. It is two. Okay. Because <laughs> he went one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. which All is right. kind of a misdirect. Now, maybe that warlock! was- Warlock! He's a warlock! Warlock! <laughs> warlock! Okay, how the hell did that happen? Right, how did he do I'll that? Do, you can try it again, but it gets hard every time because you get very self-aware of your voice. That's a good trick. That's a nice it's trick. A, you know, it's a little psychological Here, you thing. do it with Chick? 
That's a gorgeous piece. Of, that's a gorgeous piece of business. Wow, <laughs> gorgeous. Now what do I do? Just, just what do I do? I'm gonna look away. Turn, think of a number from one to six. Turn it so that number's up. Put your hand on it. Okay. Christy's watching and me. Put my hand. Right yeah, now. she's on to me. She's looking. like, "Where? Okay, no got cheating. My is got my hand in a okay. mirror. I'm not cheating. Your okay. hands on it. I'm, my right. hands on it, baby. Okay, I'm gonna turn your way now. Is that all right? Okay. Go now ahead. you have to uh, say. I say one through six. Go one, two, three, four, five, one, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, that was uh, your that radio voice is very good. Yes, Go backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five. Is it five? I felt something with five. Please tell me is it's it five. five. It'd be is embarrassing it five? if it's not. Zoom in. Five. It's, it's five. five. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's the greatest trick I've ever seen. <laughs> We're oh hanging out with... He's uh, God. That's who that is. <laughs> We're hanging He's out God. with Justin You're Milner. God. Wow. We're doing... Would... Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show. On air, on app, and on demand. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. <laughs> Oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See you later, buddy. Give it a... Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. and go do the dishes. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. Woo! The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. <laughs> Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. Woo! This is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. Nick Griffin's our yeah. guest. I, well, I'm, I'm glad that it... Uh... <laughs> I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I tried... You know, they're doing that internet dating, which... Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it, yeah. But but it, I just don't... I don't see a future in it because there's no story if you do get married with your kids. You know, I was... Checking the box score, and then I double clicked on your mom's head. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. Great show. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. That's me on electric piano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chick, Josh, Jess is here, Ace is here, uh, here's Tom, hello Tom, what's going on? Just trying to look over this, I haven't looked at the Today in History today, it's, uh, is that right? Boy, a lot of bad stuff. Huh? Just looking at it now, oh. you're seeing bad stuff. April the 1st, a tough day. Time now for Today in History. Tom? Um, of course it's April Fool's Day, yeah, I'll be looking out for some... Some wit. Are those try. shoes untied? Is that... Uh, oh, yeah. No, hey, sure, sure. hey, your mother died in a tragic fire Flies this morning. <laughs> Just kidding, April Fool. I don't think <laughs> She's in a cult. Ever. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, okay. the, it, 1700. Yeah, yeah. April Fool's Day tradition was popularized. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Way back wow. then. Wow. Um, on this day, John Lennon and Yoko Ono did an April Fool's stunt. They did? They released... 
uh, a message that they were each getting a sex change operation. What? Mm. They were going to each be switching. All right. What a become a strange shade. thing. <laughs> Very. They, they didn't, As an April didn't Fools, do that. Yeah. Um, well, here's a positive. Uh, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs uh, founded came, Apple Computers and came out of the garage. Jobs' parents' garage in 1976. Um, 2017. Bob Dylan, the songwriter, received the Nobel Prize for Literature. I think he beat out uh, Drake. I think it was. That year. <laughs> uh, oh, this is rough. Oh, Ooh, good. Yikes. 84. 1984. Marvin Gaye. Oh. The brilliant musician yeah. shot to death by his father. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. The elder also was Now Mar Mar get to bed. Marvin Gaye got probation. <gasps> really? Yeah. So Provoked? Self-defense? What was it? I guess. I don't know. I, uh, wow. I heard through the grapevine that it was... Uh, Jesus. Oh. It was, really? <laughs> you got, you got a, a frustrated Jesus out hey. of check. Hey, look, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> oh. Trouble, man. Boy, trouble, yeah. trouble, man. Ever heard the Trouble Man soundtrack, Jess? No. Oh, it's fantastic. What do you got there? You got Marvin Gaye, you got Bill Withers, who are just distinctive... Oh, yeah. Man. Nobody's better than Marvin Gaye. Um, let's see. I'll take Withers over Gay. Yeah, I'll take Withers. Oh, Bill Withers is certainly yeah. great also. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. What else is going to happen? Oh, this is so much bad news. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Google introduces Gmail in 2004. I mean, without Gmail, where would you get all those ads for boner pills? <laughs> uh, how about this? Uh, happy birthday, Randy Orton. Ah, sure. Oh, big, uh, big time wrestler. Is he a good guy or a heel? I think he's flopped. Or he's, he's gone back and forth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Son of uh, Cowboy Bob Orton? Oh, yeah. A lot of that in wrestling, right? Yeah, dynasties and yeah. such, yeah. yeah. I see. Um, and that, uh, the rest of the stuff's just too depressing. Okay. Oh, man, well. I mean, I, it, no okay. birthdays? We'll leave it up to you to go out and change you? that. Make it a happy April 1st, everybody. Yeah. Because, you, you know, if there's a birthday, we you get to say, happy birthday, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 1982, uh, Taron Killam from Saturday Night Live. He's very funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's all right. yeah. Is that Mr. Scarlett Johansson? No. no. Oh, okay. Uh, Colin Jost. Ah, uh, Taron right. is uh, used to, was on a sitcom. What was the name of that? Uh, single Parent. Taron uh, Into It, I think is. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a big Rams fan. <laughs> I think. Time now for Things We Learned, brought to you by the NHTSA. Using your phone while you're driving could kill somebody. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for by NHTSA. I got one more I just found. What do you got? This is interesting. I would not have remembered this, mm. the date on this. Uh, in 1970, the President of the United States, Richard M. Nixon, signed a measure banning what? Uh, water. Hmm. Uh, yeah. No more water. He banned uh, pinball machines. No, no, and there. lame attempts. Uh, <laughs> no, he banned cigarette advertising. Ah, oh. in what on, year? Uh, 70, on radio and television. Mm. Uh, no, more, it, no more Fred Flintstone smoking? Yeah. 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 Now, is it... Winston tastes good. Like a cigarette. Yeah. Is it... Banned on it's banned in newspapers and magazines now, is it? Now it is, but it was. Yeah. I feel like that's all the ads. Yeah, I can remember. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of billboards for a while there. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, and I'm not sure what the timeline is on those being banned. But uh, there you go. Um, then the rest of the stuff's just awful. Uh, things we learned today. Tom got an email from Larry. Larry, his former neighbor at his first house, just to update Tom on what uh, what he's doing. Isn't that nice? Uh, uh, my former neighbor had a, according to Tom, had a tar machine. I could have sworn it was a generator, but, um... It was a huge black tank. It was a On a, on a little generator. trailer. Okay. Uh -huh. That he would, in case you wanted to, like, like seal-coat a driveway. I'd love to know. I Tom's know, bathroom too. had a wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpeting and, uh, mushrooms growing out of the, uh, My first house, absolute carpet. Yeah. Uh, Greg Warren uh, talked about the solar solar eclipse. That was his topic today. Uh, Josh Arnold always enjoyed when the bird guy would come to his school with bald eagles, hawks, and falcons. Loved it. Yeah. Would go to one today, uh, one of those assignments. I would think that would be very zen. Very Can we have one in here? Calming. Yeah, let's get a bird guy. To bring uh, some guy bring a, an eagle in. <gasps> can we do that? Yes, we can. Uh, we're doing let's it. Let's do it. 
Remember when I brought the cats in? I'd love to see that too. It's got to be better than an e eagles. Have to be about better than cats. No, we starters. have cats. We don't want a cat guy. We want a bird guy. You say something, you're going to go. Wow, look at that. Yeah. 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 That's, that's it. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, and then he's going to swoop over and catch a mice. We can put on those gloves and hold them. <gasps> oh, this one's heavy. How oh, about this that? one's heavier. We'll see if it can pick up Christy. Yes. <laughs> that would be, you know it can. Yeah. And fly her out in the street. Reenact the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't trip and fall. <laughs> More show tomorrow. She's not even here to defend me. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget, Charleston, West Virginia, Friday, April 5th, morning and evening shows. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel.